Talia's fashion. Talia's fashion. Talia's fashion. fashion design. I'll, I'll okay. type it in the chat. All right. Hey, shalom, everybody. Uh, uh, we got Brother Trey Tell. He's uh, hosting today. Um, I have a new account, but, you know, they got to take 24 hours. Uh, subscribe to uh, Judah Nazara, uh, Temple of Yahweh Nazarene. That's the new uh, channel. Um, you know, it's been a uh, it's been a, a great uh, a great a great week, man. I'm also, you know, I, I will say, you know, what I'm saying, I want to I want to say uh, first, you know, praise your Hallow Cod uh, for for uh, sending in brother Killer B, uh, we, we you know, aka Commando, you know, uh, you know, the, the brother with the night the the, the night vision goggles and the and uh, the long range, you know, sniping from like five miles away. Hiding in a bush, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, it definitely helped out tour nights. It definitely uh, uh, a lot. I want to give a shout out to also to uh, Trey Tell too, because that brother, me and his brother Ben, been like battling, battling the wicked for for quite a little bit. You know what I'm saying? They've been trying to distract us from the Torah, from teaching the Torah and things like that. Um, let me give a special shout, shout out to to Quinala Wa. I know it's a surprise. I talked to that brother uh, two nights ago. Uh, him and I, him and I have our issues, you know what I'm saying? But like that brother knows the temple science, and he was ready to like get it in, you know what I'm saying? But I was like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like just leave it alone. You're not dealing with like these are not random people on the internet. These are organizations. I'm gonna get my my computer straight. These are organizations uh, that are that'll they'll start messing with you and trying to make a name off of you. Uh, shout out to uh, Kazawan too. Um, yo, man, shout out to Yakanon from Torah Nights. He helped out a lot. Um, there's been a lot of brothers that 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 been helping, you know what I'm saying? And there's been a lot of people that have been sitting back doing nothing. So I don't, I'm not, I can't give y'all like no, you know, like the 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 spoils. I, I don't know what to say, man. Like I'm a little disappointed in in certain brothers, man. Like you know, but you know, I'm about to meet my mic. I go ahead and um, start off with a description. Uh, Numbers 31. This is about uh, the ones that go into battle. And Yahweh gives you victory. Just, uh, this is how you divide the spoils up. There's one thing about Yahweh. He's never like, he'll answer you right away if you went straight to spirit. That's what he um, desires, right? It's contrite spirit, right? When you low and you like in a pit, it's always... Scriptures always say it, uh, lift me out. Those are the ones he helps, right? So it's almost like you can say he's late, but it's not. It's on Yahweh's time. He doesn't work that way. He just saves those, his elect. He saves them. So he'll keep you happy, whatever. But then as the enemy surrounds you and you feel like you can't, you're can't, engulfed, you can't take no more, that's when he comes. And then you have more than you had before. So you, you pretty much... The saving is you forgetting. All right, let's go to Numbers. Like Jack Judy, you said the beginning is always better than the, you said beginning. The ending is always better than the beginning. I think it's 3125. Yeah. 3125. Yahweh Yahweh said to Moses. Calculate the total of the captured spoils of people and animals. You, Eleazar the Kohen, and heads of the fathers of the assembly, divide the spoils in half between those who undertook the battle, who go out to the legion and the entire assembly. You shall raise up a tribute to Yahweh from the men of war who go out to the legion, one living being of 500 from the people, from the cattle, from the donkeys, and from the flock. You shall take it from the half and give it to Eleazar the Kohen, as a portion of Yahweh, and from half of the children of Israel, you shall take one drawn from 50, from the people, from the cattle, from the donkeys, from the flock, from all the animals, and you shall give them to the Levites, the guardian of the charge of Yahweh's tabernacle. Um, Moses and Eleazar, the Kohen, because Yahweh had commanded wait, 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 wait. Moses. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, sorry. Can you go back to uh, verse 30 again? I want to hear that yeah. again. That, that was beautiful. Again, the last part of 30. And from the half of the children of Israel, you shall take one drawn from 50, from the people, from the cattle, from the donkeys, from the flock, from the, all the animals, and you shall give them to the Levites. 
Keep going. Uh, and the guardians of the charge of Yahweh's tabernacle. Wait, can you say it one more time? This sounds good. Say it again. Wait, the last part or the whole? Yeah, the last part. Uh, and, and you shall get them to the Levites, the guardians of the charge of Yahweh's tabernacle. Mm -hmm. I love it. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Killer, yeah. I think Trey muted his mic. Yeah. So basically, okay. Saying take half, right from the from the people and the spoils, and get them to the Levites. Oh, from half of the children of Israel, you shall take one drawn from fifty. From the guardian, yo, know, the guardians of the charge of Yahweh's tabernacle, right. The temple, the tabernacle was the movable, the movable temple in the wilderness and the, and the testing and trial thing. We got the second lesson coming up on that, which is pre second degree. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, you know, we, we, we keep in charge of your house tabernacle. You know what I'm saying? And like, we got dudes just trying to, like, you know, stop it. So, I just want to uh, let me get a scripture real quick, too. Uh, Psalm chapter 37, verse 12. The wicked man plots against the righteous person and gnashes his teeth at him. The Lord laughs at him. For he is seeing that his day approaches. The wicked drew a sword and bent their bows to bring down the poor and the destitute, to slaughter those of upright ways. Their sword will pierce their own heart, and their bows will be broken. Better is the little of the righteous than the great multitude of the wicked. For the arms of the wicked will be broken, but the support of the righteous is Yahweh. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you know, for, for you know, I just want to, I want to say this to, um, let me go 31 real quick. Hold on, hold on. Let me start 28. I'm sorry. Let me start 27. Turn from evil and do good. This is Psalm 37, verse 27. Turn from evil and do good that you may dwell forever. For Yahweh loves justice and does not forsake his devout ones. They will be eternally protected, but the offspring of the wicked are cut off. Excuse me. The righteous will inherit the earth and dwell forever upon it. The mouth of the righteous man utters wisdom, and his tongue speaks justice. The Torah of his God is in his heart. His footsteps will not falter. The wicked one watches for the righteous and seeks to kill him. But Yahweh will not forsake him to his hand, nor let him be condemned when he is judged. Hope to Yahweh and safeguard his way, and he will raise you high to inherit the earth, and you will witness the excision of the wicked. I have seen a wicked man powerful, well-rooted like a native evergreen. Yet he vanished, and behold, he was no more. I sought him, but he was not to be found. Uh, I think we can all pretty much agree on the past couple of events, you know what I'm saying, uh, that's been going on for a little bit. You know, what happened? You know, you know, uh, 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 we've seen dudes uh, trying to come against uh, Yahweh's tabernacle. And uh, you know what I'm saying? And I want to say this, too, before I meet my wife, you know, uh, you know Brother Kelly come in. Um, y'all already seen. Y'all seen. You know? Like you know, the the, the tour knights were like uh, you know the 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 warrior the the warrior knights the invisible knights you know you, you see that they were they were they weren't ready to go, and they were they were offered peace from Yahweh's enemies, but it was like too late at that at that point you know what I'm saying like we we had, we had already we had already decreed battle, and we were gonna stick with it, and um, my thing is 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 is. You know, we have people who say that they are they are for Yahweh and they are for the Torah, yet and still, the first chance they get to stab, you know, let me say this much too, right? Okay, we're, we're gonna talk from a from a from a, a outside perspective. If a person, if a group, of a brother, if they invite you in, and they say, "Come on, man," you know, you know, you don't have a congregation or a community to belong to, come on in. And they bring you in, and they treat you brotherly, and, sis and like a sister, and you know what I'm saying. And 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 they treat you like an equal, and they 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 offer their 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 wealth to share with you. You know what I'm saying. And then all of a sudden, Yahweh brings a test, braces up like a false prophet or something, or some some small gust of wind, and then you fall off 
and you just go astray and follow that person, that false prophet or that gust of wind or whatever, whatever test you have it set up for you, you fail the test. And then you see that, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that's the thing about Israelites, man. Like we're not loyal. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't be surprised that the brothers aren't loyal to, to the group. They're not loyal to Yahweh. You know, it's like Moses and Aaron said, you're not arguing against us. You are going against Yahweh. Because clearly, Yahweh set up Moses and Aaron. So all of the talking about Judah and the, and the Torah Knights, I don't know what you're talking about us for. We're just people. Yahweh gave us charge of the tabernacle, and they were keeping it. That's our job. So all this 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 this, this mess that's going on, you're attacking Yahweh. You're not attacking us. You know what I'm saying? And and you're trying to stop Yahweh's word from going out. And you know he's going to get you. And he's going to get the, the, the men who are willing to fight. He's going to put the spirit on them. The brother just read that the people who went out to fight, they get a larger share of the spoil than those who were sitting on the fence, sitting on their hands or on the bleachers, not willing to get their their uh, their uniforms dirty. But you, you fight for your howl, he'll fight for you. You know? Only like, you know, a few. I mean, a few brothers could have came on the panel, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like Josh and all them or whatever. But for the most part, he had dudes being like, hey, man, I guess that's it for me. You know, they pretty much just bowed out the fight. Y'all will test your heart. See what you made of. Or are you, are you going to bow out? Or are you just, you just going to sit in the stool in the first round? You, you took a few punches to the face and you're ready to sit down. You're not even like knocked out. You just you just got punched in the face. You got hurt a little bit. Man, sit in the corner, drink some water, swallow a little bit, spit some out. You know what I'm saying? Put that ice pack in the back of your neck. Wait for that second, you know, and come out swinging. Hope to me. I'll be with you. Just call out to me. I'll be there. Dudes be like, get 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 a punch, in, you know, dudes get punched in the shoulder, and they're like, oh, coach, man, I think I can come out for the second round. Coach be like, what are you talking about, man? He got punched in the shoulder. Dude be like, dude, I think my jaw is broke. Like, what are you talking about? So I hope this is a lesson to all, to all of you who, 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 who uh, you know, man, that's your how doing that to you. He, he perverts your way. He tests your heart, and he'll have something occur that's weird, and you don't even perceive it. I'm sorry. My wife even says, do these people really not, do they, they don't see this? They don't, they don't see this as a test? Like, they're really this blind. They don't. All right. Go to mommy, man. Go. My kid over here trying to get me to change her diaper and Go. Shut the door. Father of the year. Father of the year. Phew. It's bumping too. So anyway. Hold on, y'all. Give me. <laughs> sorry. Sorry to take over. Hold on, Trey. Oh, sorry. I the door. Baby over here. Diaper is over here on subwoofer. You can go ahead, killer. Yeah, yeah. Shalom, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Yahweh God. Yeah, it was a uh, last. Um, this week was real interesting. Real interesting how things play out. Uh, like I said, like none of this stuff is possible without Yahweh God. And hey, I mean, there's <laughs> there's really nothing else to say about it, but uh. Everybody do got his, his judgment. You know what I mean? I don't know. It was very interesting how it played out. Very interesting how things played out. Uh, yeah, we could have used a little more help and stuff, but yeah, have a card. Like, we, we, we did it. He did it. So, what did you think about the, the events, Trey? Yeah, yeah it, was, it, was, it was a learning experience too. And to see where everybody was at, all things um revealed. Uh yeah, you know, how it revealed a lot of things to me about people and, and true thank true colors. You know, yeah. I mean, there wasn't really serious into this. It was all about being in a certain light and fame and being connected to somebody's name. You can tell. And it's not fair fair balances. 
when information comes out about one person and you're like that person's wicked but then when information comes about by somebody else and you say quiet that's not fair balance it's almost like worship of a man worship or something so I noticed that too and a lot of uh, backstabbing and it's a lot of ugliness I saw it's on people that you just can't erase from your memory you can't it's almost like uh, I can't forgive that you know it's pretty disgusting some of the peace things but we come out on the winning side of this as usual your high work caught yeah to you do some it's gonna be it's gonna be bigger and greater yeah it definitely made it stronger definitely yep. made it stronger I like the way he works though like you know what I mean it's it's like you, you never you never would have thought like you know what I mean it is all that info just came out of left field it's straight out of left field you're like wow <laughs> it was just more and more and we still got more <laughs> That, that was light. That was light work. Light work. We, we, just, uh, we just gave him a little spoon, gave him a taste. That was just a taste. God. Uh, I got a scripture and verse here. Uh, Deuteronomy 29. Let me use the verse 29. Oh, here we go. Let's start at verse 28. The hidden sins are for Yahweh, our God, but the revealed sins are for us and our children forever to carry out the words of this of this Torah. This is the key one here, verse 29. The secret things belong to Yahweh, but the things revealed belong to us, to our children forever, that we may follow all the words of his law. So it's the same things that other um I went on Google on this one. But saying the secret things belong to Yahweh, right? And He reveals the things that He wants to us at the, at the right times. Yeah, I just want to bring that out. Con, I got I got a scripture for the uh, for those who betrayed Torah nights and are now standing in a place of uh, well, you know, we, we don't believe in purgatory, but that's where these dudes are at. They're not either here or there. It's kind of like, you know. <clears throat> Uh, Psalm chapter 55, verse uh, 12. Treachery, or being a traitor, is within it. It, I'm sorry, is within it. Never leaving it square are fraud and deception. For it is not my foe who reviles me that I could endure. It is not my enemy who has magnified himself against me that I could hide from him. But it is you, a man of my measure, my guide, and my intimate friend. Together we should take sweet counsel in the house or the temple of God. We would walk in company. May he incite death against them. May they ascend to the grave alive, for evil is in their dwelling within them. As for me, I shall call unto God, and Yahweh will save me. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude's got to like, like, you know, you, you know, you got to think about, you know, like, let's, like, if you can't be loyal to people who accepted you in and brought you in, then you're not even, you can't be loyal to your house. It's impossible. You have, you know, how? It's impossible. You're not even loyal to, to the people that Yahweh was set up to teach you and to bring you in so that you do have a company. Your studies. I'm sorry. So you're not alone in your studies. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, you have a, a community to go to and, and brotherhood or whatever. And the first thing you do, you ready to stab him in the back. And then what does Yahweh do? He shows you, like, see, oh, he shows you some. If you have to think about yourself, like, yeah, yo, yo, what kind of person am I? You know, like, what, what kind of what kind of person am I? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like these dudes, these dudes brought me in. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a, there's a sister. She was like, you know, when you how when you know she was a somebody. Let me say this too, right? We're not anybody. We're just servants of you how. It's all it's all we ever wanted to be. You know, that's all I ever wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's what I have to be, a servant of Yahweh, just, just a lamb on the flock, right? I ain't trying to be uh, uh, Mr. Man and, and, you know, whatever, right? Just trying to be a priest, you know, which is just a minister, a teacher of the Torah, right? So, you know, Yah brought, brought me from the dust, confusion, the lowest state, raised me up. 
I see I see other brothers and sisters who are who are in the same condition. I'm like, yo, come in the temple, come get out the get out the the, the snowstorm, get out the dust storm, and come into the temple, into the you know, and get warmed up, and, and you know, eat 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 bread and, and and drink clean water. You know what I'm saying? People who were on the common boards who, who heard the Torah night teachings and knew that this is different, knew that Yahweh was revealing, uh, you know, that, that that the treasure chest was with the Torah nights. You know the science, you know the the, the math, the geometry, the history, you know all, all that, the language, all these things you can't find in Israel. They're here in Torah nights. Why do you think a Torah nights get attacked and you got you know these these entities and groups do whatever, right? So we're bringing brothers and sisters in, and it's like. The first person that goes against Torah nights, somehow he convinces these people to come follow them, and they do it. And then Yahweh exposed, like the brother read. Yahweh's like, okay, you want to be a tra traitor, treacherous? No problem. I'll just expose this. Then the people who follow him, follow that false prophet, they're looking like, well, what do I do now? What, what do I do now? I done stab these dudes in the back. I done follow this dude. This dude said... No, nah, man, that, that over there, that's swamp water. Follow me. I'm going to lead you to fresh water. You got to the pond, and it was mud. And he was like, well, I got to go, y'all. So he has brought you to a, 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 a marsh, a swamp pit, and then he went on his way and left you there. Now you're going to die of thirst. You can't say that Yahweh was with you. He's not with you. You can, you, can, you can fool yourself and think that he is. He's not. Because you are not going to be able to like raise yourself up to teach the congregation anything. You can't do it. If, if Yahweh is not with us, then how do we keep beating our, our foes? You know, we're, we're, you know, people said they're going to like destroy the temple and 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 burn it down and dance on its ashes. I I just I haven't seen that yet. I just see dudes get their heads chopped off and you know that's I, I just what I see. But see, the devil that's his job. The devil don't take time off. He don't take vacations. He don't relax. He don't sleep. He's got to do his job, and he puts in overtime, right? So you got to be on guard, man. You got to be a shamaray. You know, Yahweh said, you know, be a shamaray. Guard my commandments. My, guard my tabernacle. So you got to be like this all the time, looking out for the devil with your sword ready at all times. But dudes be like, you know, oh, it looks like the devil's winning. I'm about to go with the devil. Better, it's it, there's a saying. It's in Proverbs. It says uh, um, the ending of a thing is better than the beginning, because right, you're looking at it from the beginning and you're like, oh, oh, got him, he, right? It'd be, it'd be that boxing match where the dude would be like, you know, it, it look, you know, the dude's up like, you know, seven rounds. Seven to, seven to three. You, the, the person under three rounds, you'd be like, oh, man, he ain't really, like, firing back. Man, he ain't really, like, doing nothing. And you're like, oh, man, this dude about to knock him out, man. All of a sudden, eighth round comes up. Dude lands a right cross, follow up with a left hook. All of a sudden, you see that dude in the ground, clutching his liver, spitting his mouthpiece out, dude doing on himself. And you see people being like, you know, pay me my money. I mean, he's going to knock the dude out. But but you, he let that dude punch himself out. He let that dude do all he was going to do. Because he knew that when he landed that, that right cross and left hook, it was going to be over. And Yahweh is that, that right, you know, that right cross and left hook. As soon as that lands on that off switch, out of here. So why are you following people that, that, that get knocked out easily? Like, why are you following dudes whose chins are made of made of pillow or made of glass or styrofoam? Like, why? You've seen dudes go down over and over and over and over again. First off, if people are flagging and doing all this kind of stuff, that's our first off, that should set off like a, 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 a question marks on you. Like, flagging? This is your. Offense? Your offense? Like I'm thinking, I'm looking at the, at the people. Like so, like nobody's y'all really gonna sit back and watch this real weird way of offense, and y'all not gonna question why is why is this happening? No, nope. that's why the scripture says that Israel's deaf, dumb, and blind. Stuff be happening right in his face, and he don't even see it.
We get accused of We get accused of practicing cabal. It wasn't us. It was somebody else. We get accused of being Freemasons. It wasn't us. It was somebody else. We get accused of, 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 of living a, a immoral life. It wasn't us. It was somebody else. But like I said, the devil, that's his job. Why why are the people so quick why are the people so quick to stab you in the back when you bring them in as a brother you know what i'm saying like you know you, you know you bring them in you talk to them you know what i'm saying you pray for them and next thing you know the dude's got a, a big fat book of eli machete ready to, 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 to stab you in the spine with it why it's, 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 it's how, how can you be that 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 does not mean that you that you if somebody says uh do this something foul against your house you'll do it for for what You'll sell your hella out. You can't say you won't because you sell your own brother out. Your own brother who brought you in from the cold. Your, your own brother who brought you, brought you in and tried to like give you, you know, give you jewels, gold, silver, precious gems, you know, sheepskin, fresh water, milk, honey. You know, he offered this to you. And the first thing you do is you get a knife tucked in your waist to stab him in the back. That ain't right, man. That ain't right. So I hope, you know, and you know what? Other Torah Knights, they feel differently. But your brother Judah's weakness is, is I do have a gentle heart. And some of y'all, no way. I would never, never, ever, ever trust you or accept you back. But some of you other brothers, you know what I'm saying? Some people fall and slip. You know, I, you know, some others might disagree, but brothers like Ira, I don't have no ill, Ill feelings towards that brother. Yeah, we heard some 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 crazy talking stuff, but I believe that brother's heart is good. I, I believe that he he you know y'all tapped him on the shoulder and was like, hey, you know, pay attention. I believe that. Um, I mean, you've been trying to, I'm trying to, uh, I'm, I'm trying to like to speak for some other brothers who who may um who who might have uh, woken up out of this out of the stupor. Uh, Ira, um, who else? Yeah, that's really about it. <laughs> uh, everybody else is wicked as all get out. Did, whenever anybody goes against tour nights, the first thing you do is you see certain ex dudes on there. Yeah, yeah, those dudes are wicked. Oh, blah 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 blah. And you used to be looking at them like. Deaf, dumb, and blind as always. You know, just can't get right. Yeah, you know, can't can't get it together, bro. Like you know, what I'm saying that's just that's they can't get right of lights. You just can't get it together. There was a sister who was who got brought in, brought in, but every time every chance she got, she was always ready to stab me in the back. Always, always dealing with somebody wicked to the point where even she found out all this and was like. I'm gonna just stay away from from all of y'all. Well, no, you know, no, that's not your choice. That was your house choice. You ain't living right. You're you're not faithful. If you're not faithful to the people who brought you in, then you're not faithful to him. If we see you on the common board of Yahweh's enemies, then guess what? But don't wonder why your life is 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 in sh in shambles. You ain't living right. He, he, he brought you in. He was he, he brought you in, and I told everybody, I was like, yo, you how was gonna test you. I got tested. Brothers can tell you, kill a B, Trey Tell, Josh, they can tell you. I was like, yo, man, like these dudes are wicked as get out. Like straight up wicked. They're not even like even the stuff they're accusing us of is totally ridiculous. And the public should know better to know that, that, that we don't agree with Freemasonry and Kabbalah and all that. They should know better. And they should be speaking up, but they ain't saying nothing. So that makes you even more wicked. Than the person who's, who's false accusing, because we were talking. What these traitors do is down the street, right? There's an old lady walking down the street. She has a purse and she has a cane. All of a sudden, so knock knocks her down, takes her purse and starts running. And 
These dudes saw it, the whole thing. The dude comes running past them. They could have easily put a foot up, tripped the dude, hopped on, pounded him out, and gave the old lady back her purse. But they decided they decided to just turn their head and not give proper judgment. Basically, what you just did is you just helped that dude. What did you have to say about witnessing evil and sitting aside and letting watching it happen, not doing nothing about it? You're an accomplice. There's no way Judah Nazareth is going to sit back and watch no Israelite, whether I agree with their doctrine or not, get get false accused and slandered when I know better. I'm going to speak up, whether it's popular or unpopular. Because that's just, as Yahweh said, there's three things. There's the commandments, the, the, I'm sorry, the decrees and customs, and the judgments of justice. Your judgments. That third is, is important. Judgments. Mashapat. That's, you know, a, 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 a equal scale Yahweh desires. Not, oh, they're against Judah Nazareth. Oh, everybody's against you in Nazareth and the Torah Knights? Oh, I'm about to be against them too. Because when they get nuked out, then guess where you're going to be? Left with nowhere. Nowhere to go. So, you know, I hope this is a lesson to you. Some of y'all don't never believe in the Torah anyway. So, you know, go your way. But brothers like Ira, I don't even go as far as to say even Lamad. Like, like, Lamad, like, bro, if you're listening, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you were like, you know, you know, kill a bee is even surprised, bro. Like, you know, you, you and Josh are like the balancers of, of, of Torah Knights. You guys were the guys who had the, the even temper. You know, brothers went to you for counsel because you gave like a fair counsel without, without harsh judgment, right? You and Josh were the two dudes, like, like me and Trey Tell and kill a bee are probably a little more, well, we're, we're like me. Kill a B is like a mixture of like me and Trey Tell. Trey Tell is ready to throw you into the pit and lock the key and pretty much like throw the key into the fire once you like wrong him. I'm gonna like listen to you a little bit and try to see if there's even this much good in you. Kill a B is a mixture of both, but brothers like Lamad and Josh and brothers like that, they'll like listen to you. You gotta really be like straight up wicked to where they're like, all right, man, I'm through with you. They have a little more leniency than I do towards brothers. So Lamont, bro, like, you know, I get it, bro. Like things are happening in life, bro. But, but you know what I'm saying? And I get it, bro. Me and you, we, we talk, bro. Bro, you know, like, you know, no, listen, Tor Knights don't need anybody. You know, people have to be like, oh, Tor Knights is begging. No, we don't need anybody but Yahweh. Yahweh will bring in people that are going to fight for his name. And for his his Torah, so we don't need anybody. So, but but if we ask you, we're asking you out of love for our brothers. You know what I'm saying, like bruh, like come back to the fold, bruh. Like you know what I'm saying, like bruh, you fall seven times, bruh, get up, get up and come back, bruh. Like don't don't sit there and, and die off in the wilderness, bruh, and lose faith and get nuked up and 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 die. Because you know, you know, you don't want to be that dude that that was like in dire straits, and you're like calling. You find yourself calling upon you how he don't listen to you because he gave you a chance and you threw it away because you wanted to follow every wind and doctrine and fail every test that was thrown at you. I, you know, the 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 the, the temple is there's a, a trial area, bruh. Hold on, let me, get, let me get this real quick. Give me one second, you guys. Hold on, one second, one second. Uh, y'all let y'all let dudes. Uh, hold on. Y'all really let dudes really get you get you all out of the temple. Like that's amazing. Hold on, let me get it. Hold on. Bear with me. Hold on. Hold on. Right? There's a, there's a, you, you know you hit this you, you know what you always say. Uh, hold on. Bear with me. G give me one second, you guys. Hold on. Hold on. I think it's uh. 50. Hold on. Um, it's Psalm 50. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, where he's like, uh, offer, 
offer God a confession in your vows. Oh, sorry. It's uh, Psalm chapter 50, verse 14. Offer God a confession, then redeem your vows to the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Offer God confession. Confess your sins. You know what I'm saying? And then offer, or you know, offer God confession. Confess your sins and transgressions and filthiness and wrongdoing and your unworthiness to even have this Torah. And then offer a vow to him, which is a promise or an oath. Yahweh, I will do this. You know what I'm saying? And then Yahweh's going to put you through the the, the, the the testing area, which is which is coming up in the next uh, lesson. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not sure dudes even made that vow to Yahweh, man. Dudes was like, I'm not about to swear nothing to uh, Yahweh, which is Deuteronomy 6, verse 13. Because I want the option of, if, if I feel like I want to like betray Yahweh, I can. Or I can just go back into the world. And Yahweh ain't looking for double-minded people like that. He'll just get rid of you altogether. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, some of y'all done violated to the point where, where Yahweh just is not going to hear you. He's just, you know, you're, you're, you're done. You might as well, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's over for you. But I'm going to say, Brother Ira, in my opinion, maybe brothers might differ. In my opinion, I think the brother is, like, redeemable. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't he didn't go all hard go all hard on tour nights and whatever. And I didn't hear nothing ill against the tour or nothing like that. Uh Lamont did pull some some mess on me, you know what I'm saying, whatever, but I'm not an emotional dude like that. You know what I mean? Like we all make mistakes. Uh who else? Um I'm just trying to I'm trying to give brothers a fair shake. Now I know Quinal Lawa is doing his own thing, or whatever, whatever. He's probably never gonna become come tour nights again, but I mean, he is a temple guardian. He he does know he does know the math. He does. Yeah, we have our differences in regarding the furniture placement, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like it is. You know, we have to like duke that out one day if he decides. But he's he's a he's a guardian of the, of the temple. He will fight for it. You know, Kazuman, uh, your brothers like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, before me, me my mic, Rob Rack. You're never gonna be a tour night, bro. But. Your your circle, that group that you that, that that used to run with you, that's your group. That's like that's your group. You don't have to see it this way, but they stabbed you in the back, just like they stabbed Tor Knights in the back, just like certain, just like other people stabbed GMS in the back. It says that people are are traitors. Tra they are traitorous people. They're just quick to you know they'll, they'll stab you in the back in a minute. So, Rob, man, I hope this is a lesson to you, too, bro. Shots were thrown at you, too. You know, dude said that there was a leader and that people follow the leader. But we, we always said in Torah Nights, we don't have no leader but Yahweh Akkad. But we got dudes talking about their leaders. And and they and to a degree, that dude was right. Because you had ex tour Nights and you had dudes in your circle, they follow him. Dude got nuked out and dudes are still over there trying to follow him. He don't even believe in himself anymore. He's finished. We didn't get to even drop the nukes. We had we had a we had the, we left the, the preliminary scuds. We had the old World War II planes fly, right? The ones with the propeller in the front. We were like, let's not let's not bring out the, the jets yet. The, the jets was on the on the the uh, the, uh, the 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 runway, and it was like tornadoes jets prepared for takeoff. You know what I'm saying? You know they were gassing up. You know what I'm saying? You heard the turbines winding up. You know what I'm saying? Then all, all, all of a sudden you heard Tor Night Jets shut down. We're like, Roger that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had to get out the Jets and go back and, 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 and drink coffee. The World War II Jets then took care of the, like, we're like, bro, like, really? The World War II Jets, bro? Like, like we didn't oil them up, bro. They were, like, rusty. We didn't even sure they could even fly anymore. Like, been out of use for, like, 80, like, 70 years, bro. Like, what? But they did the job. Like, that, that's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yahweh. All praise to Yahweh Akai, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead, uh, Josh. I'm not Josh. I'll try to tell him, kill him. I'm sorry. I've been yapping. Yeah, I want to read the scripture real quick. Uh, this is how you were saying about how these brothers just follow, follow behind anybody. You know what I mean? They, they didn't really investigate what was going on and, like, I don't know, just bad decisions. But uh, I just want to read the Proverbs 1 and 10. And the stones it says, My child, if sinners seduce you, do not be enticed. If they say, Come with us, 
Let us wait in ambush for bloodshed. Let us lurk for an innocent one without cause. And that's just what they did. They listened to that dude, and they see, you know, they're, they're potting on us, like, you know what I mean? He's trying to drop the spies and all types of stuff, like, you know what I mean? And that's a lot of what was, was going on. That's exactly what was going on. And, like, everybody, like, like Judas said, like, it's a real disappointment. And stuff. A lot of brothers and stuff. The time that I was gone, and I come back, and, like, these brothers is gone. I'm like, wow. Um, yeah, like, like Judah, I totally agree with Judah, too. Like, Ira and Lamont. Like, yeah, man. Uh, I'm all for it. Coming back. But yeah, the other dudes, man, I don't know. But I don't know. How willing and stuff, he, he, he does what he does. Uh, yeah, so this is a big lesson for, like, everybody. And yeah, you this from the last two weeks and it shows like how powerful Yahweh is and stuff how he, like where he could bring us from one point to another and stuff. It was uh, like he always come on time. He's always on time. That's about all I had for now. I just wanted to get out this room. Go ahead, I'll bring it. Yeah, I'll bring in some um, scriptures. I go to 1 Samuel 2, verse 35. <clears throat> it says, And I will appoint myself a faithful Kohen who will do as is in my heart and in my desire. And I will build for him a faithful house. And he will walk before my anointed one all the days. And it shall be that anyone left over of your family will come to bow down to him for a small corner of a loaf of bread and will say, please attach me to the one of the priestly division to eat a morsel of bread. So they talk about, you know, I was talking about David uh, raising up the king, King David, who, who will fight his battles for him and be after his own heart. So you got the, uh, let's go to 2 Samuel 8, verse 1 to 8. Because Yahweh, that's, that's the only way you can go after his heart is to fight. Take it Samuel 8, verse 1 to 8. Which could be internally or outwardly. It could be a uh, sinful inclination. Or it could be someone who's attacking you, trying to mute you from speaking out, proclaiming his name as well. 2 Samuel uh, 8, verse 1 to 8. Even though here it's symbolically is using other nations. 8, verse 1 to 8. Let's see what David did. Fighting for Yahweh's heart. It happened after this that David struck the Philistines and subdued them. David took Methagama from the hands of the Philistines. He also struck Moab. He measured his captives with a rope, laying them down on the ground and measuring two ropes, limp to be put to death, and ro ropes limp to be kept alive. The Moabs became subject to David, bearers of tribute. David also struck Hadazar, son of Rohab, king of Zobah, as he was on the way to extend his control over the Euphrates River. David captured from him 1,700 horsemen and 20,000 foot soldiers. David hamstrung, hamstrung all the chariot horses while he left over them 100 chariot horses. So we can go on and on. We know all the fighting David did. We'll go to one more scripture, Jeremiah 15. That's the example to be that king and that after Yahweh was hard. Jeremiah 51, verse 19 to 24. Unlike these is the portion of Jacob, for he is the mold of everything, and Israel is a tribe of his heritage. His name is Jehovah, master of legions. You, Babylonia, were a mallet for me, a tool of war. I smashed upon nations through you and destroyed kingdoms through you. Through you, I smashed the horse and its rider. Through you, I smashed the chariot and its rider. Through you, I smashed man and woman, and through you, I smashed elder and youth. Through you, I smashed young man and maiden. Through you, I smashed the shepherd and his flock. Through you, I smashed the plowman with the yoke of oxen. Through you, I smashed governors and deputies. Verse 24, now I shall repay to Babylonia and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea and the evil that they did in Zion before your eyes. The word of Yahweh. Now, I want to clear something up with that as well. That's clear as day about how Yahweh uses us to smash his enemies, right? Because your enemies are his enemies. He's your, he's your God. 
your father. But I want to um, smash something as far as I'm getting comments, especially my other channel, my wife, that Babylonians are all so-called white people, right? No, Babylonians are it's a Babylonian system that we're under right now. It's the whole world rule, the Western powers, right? Amalek and them. So, and they have many, which are Masons and other nations. We saw Kim Jong-un, right, with a Masonic handshake with Trump. So he's a Babylonian, the Catholic Church, uh, and so-called black people. They're uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Giving their souls up to be on the sports shows, selling us up the creek. As long as they have a little, you know, a little more than the uh, brother next door to them, they find destroying us. You know, they got a nice little car, nice little plush life. But those are the Babylonians we got to smash too. You know what I'm saying? So they're not our people. Just because they look like us, it means they're our people. They're Babylonians. And Yahweh says, go after his heart. You got to smash them. The heathens. I just want to bring that out. Yahweh God. Hey, can you bring uh, Mervin in? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, you want to back up uh, Trey Tell Cinnamon? Uh, Psalms chapter 94, verse uh, uh, 16. This is my favorite. You know, I'm going to start at 12 real quick. Praiseworthy is the man whom God disciplines. Right? First off, if Yahweh's jacking you up, man, he's strengthening you. Like, yo, man, like, I'm telling you. Yo, man, I was in, like, distress. Like, nothing to do with, like, the, the folly. I'm talking about stuff that was going on, like, with, in, in, you know, with my, my life. Where to the point where brothers and Torah nurses like, yo, Judah, man, you got to, you know, brother, you got to toughen up, bro, and, like, get it together. Get your mind together, bro. It ain't, it ain't like you think. You know what I'm saying? I had to, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, maybe, maybe, maybe you you know, I have a new baby coming, right? So you how might have been jacking me up to to prepare me for uh for the for the new baby boy coming, you know, next month or, or whatever, or to make me and my wife uh uh work harder at our business, you know what I'm saying, for this new baby. And like you don't know, I mean, whatever, you how is like paying attention to you, he'll make things happen, you know. So if you how is jacking you up. And strengthening you and, and and he's paying you attention, man. You know, praiseworthy. You know what I'm saying? And whom you teach from your Torah. You know what I'm saying? If, if Yahweh was teaching you from the Torah and he brought you from, you know what I'm saying? First of all, the Torah is, is the foundation, bro. Like other philosophies and other books, the Torah is a foundation. Like even the prophets and all that and the writings, they all have to, the Torah comes first. They don't stand by themselves. The Torah is first. And the Torah is not the Ten Commandments. It's, you know, them, them animal sacrifices and all that you, you think that are done away with and all that? No, nah, bro, that's the Torah. Like, those things are not, not like you think. That, that, that's for the uninitiated to think that God's talking about that he drinks the blood of, of animals. And, 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 and no, bro, it's talking about the inward self. Let's keep it going. To give him rest from the days of evil while a pit is dug for the wicked. Right? You see us, man, we on here on a peaceful Shabbat talking about, you know, the, the wars we had to endure. And we sitting back and, we, you know, reflecting. We're not miserable. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, how, you know, we, man, yo, man, I had, a, I had, a, I had a, 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 a double prayer the other night. I'm like, you know, like, you know, ask Killer. I was like, Killer, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, dudes are like straight up wicked. And it's a whole bunch of them. Doesn't matter, man. It don't matter. It don't matter if it's a million against Torah nights. We call on Yahweh Akkad. Please step in. Yahweh puts this. <laughs> smack dudes. Dudes is laid out. It'd just be a field of dead bodies. And you'd be looking around like, yo, like Yahweh ain't playing with these dudes. Like, you know, he ain't playing with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for Yahweh will not cast off his people, nor will he forsake his heritage. Like Israel's is heritage, and our heritage is, is the Torah. So if you stand with the Torah and you're trying to live by it and you're teaching it, and you got dudes over here teaching against it, talking about we practicing this and we teaching whatever, bro, like what they're not they're not gonna come out. The devil doesn't come out and directly accuse the most high and the servants of anything. He does it in a roundabout way. He'll like, you know. He'll like he'll call the Torah Kabbalah and Freemasonry or something. 
But to per people who can't see who are deaf, dumb, and blind, it looks it like even though they don't see any Kabbalah or Freemasonry whatsoever in Torah nights, somehow they still believe that. And that's because they're driven by their love to follow wickedness and you know and and you know like how it perverts their way. For justice shall revert to righteousness, and following it will be all of upright heart. For justice will shall revert to righteousness. Right? If we're not seeing that now, excuse me, what happened? Yahweh came in and was like, oh, you know what? I'm about to settle this right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you who I'm with, the righteous party. Because they're going to be able to teach the Torah and come out and give thanks to my holy name. While the wicked party, you ain't going to see them. They have nowhere to go. They don't have a leader anymore. When 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 their leader, stiff neck leader, Pharaoh, begins to speak, it's just going to be a whole bunch of nothing. Right, because Yahweh not cursed his land, gave him three days darkness. So you're not going to see any substance behind anything. It's just going to be straight damage control. But that damage control button got peanut butter in it. It, it. it don't work. It ain't working right, bro. Like stop it. You got to press that that reset button, and then it might not come back. It might not come back on. You keep going. Verse 16. Who shall rise up for me against the evil doers? Who will stand up for me against the doers of iniquity? Like, who is going to stand up for Yahweh? Tordas is like, we will. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Those of you of Tordas should stand up. You know what I'm saying? You, you get majority of the spoil. You know what I'm saying? Dudes who want to sit down and do nothing. You know, you, you, you get what you put in. All this is all, all this is, is like a garden. We're planting seeds in the ground. You know? Rose, 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 rose. Yahweh's Torah is the water. So what happens? The produce, we reap the produce. So when the winter time comes, we're going to be munching. You know, we're going to be eating. You know what I mean? But those who, who sowed little, reap little. You know what I mean? Like, that's, just, that's how it goes, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, give me a second, you guys. Uh, where's Mervin at, Trito? You, you're muted. I think he's having issues getting on the link. I'm trying to um, get the emails now. Okay. Hey, uh, Killer, can you talk real quick? I got to uh, uh, get something real quick. Give me one second. Yeah, I was having issues too. I just got back on. I didn't even hear what you said for the last like, few minutes. He was talking about. Um, Oh, about following stiff neck leader Pharaoh, calling, that they were, you know, he was calling it the uh, Torah Kabbalah. That's how the devil works. And people, people that are inclined to wickedness will follow that and fall off. And the devil doesn't isn't directly say that Torah is evil, but they always he has a roundabout way to lead people astray. And Yahweh sat back, um, not really sat back, but. You know, allowed it for a time, and then he came and just, you know, calm. Uh, yeah, you can see how that that dude, um, he I think you're breaking up. You there? Is it, is it there? I think he, I think he's lying. Bad connection. Oh, okay. It, it says uh, Killer B left, left the group. Hey, uh, uh Trey. Yo. You're teaching Kabbalah and Freemasonry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> That's Kabbalah. 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 I'll get a scripture. Huh? What do you say? Oh, the oh yeah, the teacup. <laughs> That's like, uh, you see that video with uh, Jalen Rose I sent? 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, hey, hey, Jalen Rose. Dang. He's a sunken player. <laughs> like, my favorite, fa my favorite food is mud puddles. <laughs> I don't know who he is no more. Dang. Chipped up. Yo, man. Yo. Straight up, bruh. Why are people susceptible to the keep the teacup, bro? Like, susceptible. This is susceptible to the teacup, bro. Like, it'd be like the most ridiculous accusation you ever heard. Like, <laughs> Nazra, uh, he's the CIA agent. He'll <laughs> be like. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you saw the uh, you saw the Cardi B one. Uh uh, she froze up too. She uh was in the middle of an interview at some award ceremony or something. She was going on and on, and she just froze up like this. She was talking like this. You know what I'm saying, Cardi B? You know what I'm saying? It feels good to be here, and you know, for like four seconds straight, four or five seconds, she like this. <laughs> I go, you, see, you, you saw that killer, Cardi B? Nah. That's not uh, funny. Uh, look it up. Hey, uh, what's that one dude's name? You, you remember that one uh, dude who used to be like overweight black dude? Uh, what was his name? He's a talk show host. And he like uh, lost Al a lot Roker. of weight. Al yeah, Roker. you see him? You see yeah. him when, when, the, when the, yeah, that brother was talking like, all of a sudden you saw him. <laughs> Somebody was yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> and you know behind the camera. You know about the camera, they throwing all types of symbols up, probably trying to uh, put them back. They're doing something. They're like, oh. And nobody ever panics. Like, the ones that's around them, they just stand there like everything, nothing happening. But they never talking to that person, though. But it, like, it always be like the black dude, too. Always. <laughs> That's what that movie bro, Get Out, we talk, huh? Yeah, bro, yeah, bro. are people, bro, bro, I'm telling, wait a minute, you want to like steer people wrong? Dude be like, I'll do whatever you, what walk off that cliff. Negro be like, <laughs> bro, wake up, bro, what are you talking, stop falling for the teacup, bro, get, smash it, throw it out the window, like get it away from whoever, Yo, man, our people are susceptible, man. That's 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 just what it is, bro. Yep. I go to Psalms 94, verse 12 to uh, 15. Praiseworthy is the man whom Yahweh disciplines and whom you teach from your Torah to give him rest from the days of evil while the pit is dug for the wicked. For Yahweh will not cast off his people, people nor will he forsake his heritage. For justice shall revert to righteousness, and following it will be all of upright heart. So it's perfect. The Torah is perfect. Only ones of upright heart will even accept it and be able to see it. See the temple. Yahweh uh, holds all knowledge, the bolts of all knowledge, and portions it who he wants it to go to. And, and, it's, and it's in increments. It's beautiful how it's in increments. Like I'm excited how to see where I'm gonna be a year from now, or even five years from now. You how willing I'm live? I live, I live, you know, I live that long. I'm excited to see where how I blossom too. I've seen the progress. That, that excites me. I just hope you how uh, uh, like you said, help you keeps the spirit on me. You know that I'm still teaching Torah. As you can clearly see, as we all see, anyone who's paying attention, I want to. Uh, 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 I made a video. Uh, Our GMS brothers are steadfast in their doctrine, and they go out, you know, it's season in and out, as they say, right? Yeah, but, you know, now the Israelite thing is now turning to completely. It's it's pretty much like entertainment because it's been infiltrated. You know what I'm saying? Like, dudes is getting money, so the doctrines are getting watered down. People who really are not in the truth are, like, paying attention to the people who are not really teaching, right? There's no such, there's no such thing as Israel without the Torah. This is... 
Like, dudes are like, we're about to have an Israel without a tour or without a priest. No, nah, bro. Like, no, nah, that's not how it works, bro. Like, you can't have an Israel like community nation without the tour. And it's not a book of. Laws. The laws and commandments are like, thou shalt do, thou shalt not do. Right? There are certain things like, like we said, like the, the sacrifices and things like that. These are the teachings. These are the Thawarah. You know, the, 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 the stories, the parables, the allegories, you know, the, you know all these things. Uh, uh, for the wicked, oh, hold on, let me see, um, where is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Psalm 109, verse 27. Let them know that this is your hand, that you, Yahweh, have made it happen. Let them curse, but you will bless. They rose up, but they will all be shamed, and your servant will rejoice. May my adversaries be clothed in humiliation. And may they wrap themselves in their shame as in a cloak. I will thank Yahweh exceedingly with my mouth. And amid the multitude, I will praise I will praise him. He stands at the right of the destitute to save them from the condemners of his soul. You know what I'm saying? So all that, all the, the wickedness, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm out of nothing. Is Mervin in here? Yeah, Shalom. Oh, Shalom, bro. Go ahead, bro. Shalom, Mervin. Shalom, peeps. <laughs> So, um, Go ahead, brother. What, 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 what did you see this past week? Man, ducking after getting exposed. It's just crazy. Well, but then, but then again, I'm not surprised. You know, it's like an underground. It's like an underground business in Yash in the Yashiro community, and it like runs like really deep. But you know, they all are gonna be brought to light, being exposed, come before the congregation, ready to get stoned. Hey, but 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 hey, man, you know these dudes, these dudes have the good good thing going for a little bit, didn't they? They drug it out for for a good few months, like you know, like. Right, like, like, dude was playing the flute, and dudes was like, you know, hey, actually, he wasn't playing the flute. He was just stirring that that. Like and you know, like people right, were following. Right. I was like looking at dudes like, I'm sorry, go ahead, bro. I'm sorry. Show on, kosher. Hey, shalom, man. Shalom. Shalom, bro. Hey, did you see what you see, you see the the transpirings, the recent transpirings? Hey, bro. Hey, it's it's more feminine activity, man. I mean, I I I, I used to follow. Uh, I'm not gonna speak his name because we don't need to give him uh, followers. But I used to like follow his channel just to see what he gonna say. But like, I usually listen to it at work on my headphones. I can't listen to it because it's so disgusting. It's like, bro, you sound so effeminate. You over, you're not making it. It's just bad. I can't. I mean, you know, I, I already said what I said before. I mean, it's only a few going to deal with the truth, man. Most people want to deal with the father. So we can put the truth out, but they don't. They don't want to. They don't want to care about that. Bro. They just want to. Um, they just want to believe, believe the lie. Like you tell, you show them the picture. You show them the the phase two was crazy. Like, but I had to work to find the phase two. I don't think people, unless you send it directly to the people who need to hear it, phase two was crazy. They don't know. Most people don't know what's going on, but <laughs> you brought out some. I didn't even know about that type of group, but I, I'm like uh, <laughs> more <laughs> more sodomites, like you know. So I'm like, man, it, you know, the, the the Masons have so many type of so many different offshoots. It's not hard to believe that, but it's like, man. I, I, yeah, they um, they watching us. They watching the toy nights. They should be too. They're yeah. afraid of us. They send they sending in um what they call them? The, the, the agents, agent Smiths, they send them in. 
Like, we, we, we brought it back to him with his neck open. Here, have him back. Send another one in. All they're going to do is send another one in. But we'll get stronger. It's experience. We'll get smarter. We grew from this. I even grew yeah. I grew a lot from this. I got better in my computer skills. I'm going up to intermediate, almost advanced. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. Because once I catch on to something, boy, I hold on to it like a pit bull on a, on a, on a car tire. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, uh hey man, shout out to brother Killer B, aka Commando. You know what I'm saying? That brother, man. Killer B was like, yo, man, he was like, I was watching, you know, he's like, I, he was like, I wasn't saying nothing. He was like, let me just sit back a little bit and watch, see, see what Tour Nights is, you know, see what these brothers is up to. He started investigating ex Tour Nights and watching, you know, the you know the soap opera or whatever. He's like, man, let me come in with the AR. <laughs> Body started dropping. You know what I'm saying? Dude started like, you know, and then you know what? For certain people started getting like nervous. They was like, who's Killer B? I'm like, he's nobody you need to worry about, like, unless you're doing something wicked. Like <laughs> that brother was dedicated, that brother will sleep for three hours and wake up just to get you. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like. You know, good luck messing with the, finding that dude too. Like that's not he's you're, he's not going to be all he's not that's not you know he he was never that dude to to be like on camera and like whatever whatever like like you you know you know for tour nights out there the ones who were like faith you know to faithful to Yahweh he'll 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 you know and you're like you're you know true and blue you know whatever he'll be like here, here I am you know what I'm saying but to the rest of the uh, public you know. You, you know, I mean, you know, like, yeah, definitely. Look, there are people out there. They know who they know who Killer B is. But I'm saying, like, he's not out there to be like, you know, like we're we're, we're the visible group. You know what I'm saying? You got brothers like Lobster Bill. You ain't gonna see Lobster Bill. People out there know who he is. People out there they know who Lobster Bell is. But like the 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 general populace don't know who he is. Like he don't show himself. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not his job. He don't he don't he don't he don't, he don't desire to do that. You know what I'm saying? But but there are brothers out there who are you know they. They work, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's just you know. So shout out to our brother Killer B, man. Like, he phase two. That was that was Killer B. You know what I'm saying? It was like these dudes are being wicked. You help with the spirit of that brother. They're like, okay, well, you know that 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 you know there was the hornet's nest. It looked like an afro on these dudes. It was it was hornets on these dudes. You know the the Killer B like. He was got nuked out, bro. Like, I, you know, like phase two was crazy. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? We still have phase two. Listen, we have a warehouse full of nukes. We didn't even get to use them. Yeah, warehouse. Just there. I, just them off. I, I just want to bust them off for fun now. This to be doing it. But we can't do that, bro. We can't do that. We, <laughs> we got to phase them, bro. Phase two is going to be that easy. I didn't know it was going to be that easy. That was like, that was like, wait. That was like we didn't go in. But we gotta save those, Killer B, because we know that the devil don't stop. He'll find some other angle. Nope. That was just a spoon. He'll wait. He'll, he'll wait until you know things cool off and he'll try to slither his way back in with some other and it's like, well, looks like we gotta get them jets ready again. Yeah. Uh, you know, he can get you know, some more more imaginary oasis. Like I was saying before, from my connection, got that. Uh, Judas said, like, this dude just led all these dudes away. Like, hey, let's go check out this oasis. And they get there, and it was dried up. <laughs> he was like, all right, y'all, peace. <laughs> and just left him. Hey, you know, you know they got docs and files. The Facebook ain't nothing but a, um, you know, a spy, a spy device. So, you know, they got documentation and files on all of us. Whatever they can get anyway. And they're gonna try what what they doing right now, they scrambling through it trying to use it. You know, trying to find whatever dirt they can dig up on us to smear our name or whatever. The funny part is, I, I don't care about no name. They, they all carnal. I don't care how people feel about me or anything. So you can dig up whatever you want to dig. Like it's not gonna stop me from uh teaching and, and growing in this tour. If people if people can't get the message, when I watch a video i'm trying to learn something i'm not looking at the person 
like wondering what cologne they wearing or how how how, how trim their mustache is. No, I'm listening to the message so I can get the message and learn something. I don't care about liking or hating that person. It doesn't make I don't understand that. It was times I would watch like um when I first started coming to this truth, I remember Great Millstone was putting up links to like um white supremacist like um uh videos and i could sit there knowing this guy hates pe people that look like me and whatever but i could sit there i'd be like oh he teaching me a lot i'm learning a lot about history and and truth of the system and all this stuff i can filter through all the nonsense and get the message but a lot of people can't do that i guess it's your how we're blocking them out oh, i hate this guy i'm jealous of this guy what's that got to do with the lesson and getting the, 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 the message and, and the meat of it. That's a that's a feminine spirit as well. That's very feminine. That's what it is. That's super effeminate, bro. Like I don't like him. It's like, man, if you don't sit down somewhere, bro, and get some testosterone, you know? <laughs> bro, it's irrational. Like that rational. The, the rational is that little narrow path. <laughs> that rationale, rationale is that narrow path to keep you on the uh, path of discernment. You're able to discern, like, you, you'll you be able to listen to anything as long as you stick to rationale. Like, you could be like, you could figure out, all right, this is, this is the meat spit out the bone, period. Like, something, some things you can't eat. Some things is not meat. That's just truth. But I mean, you can't teach people that. And that, I mean, that's the that's the amazing thing how how he ordered the universe. Some people are just rubies, man. So, and rubies are rare, and that's just what it is. And it's it's on one hand, you feel like it sucks because you feel alone for now, but it's worth it. Because <laughs> in the end, we're gonna be gathered together and we're gonna be glad it's only a few of us because we don't like all of them like the niggas. That, excuse my French, but we don't like them cats that's over here. Want to be irrational, bro? You dealt with them all your life. We old enough to know we don't deal with these irrational folk, bro. We all like Rakim saying his old his old raps. He was like, man, everybody around here rational. Period. Like you know, man, that's all. Hey, speaking of, uh, there's two two other rappers too that said something that's just pretty profound too that 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 backs up what you're saying too. Joe Budden said on uh, was it Mew Music? He was like, I showed them the truth and they didn't like what they saw. You know, he showed them the truth, they didn't like what they saw. You know, and then uh, Most Def was like, you can show them the truth, but you can't make them believe it though. You know, they looking at it, you're like it's right there, but they like, I don't believe it. And you're like, you can't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know who makes one deaf, dumb, and blind? You know, but you howl. So you know nothing you can do about it. You you say it all the time. You say it all the time. Like I heard it when I was in sixth grade. Like a lot of people don't never heard a chameleon there, but he he made a mixtape controversy sales. Like he a millionaire. People don't know he a millionaire right now off of it. He quit rapping. <clears throat> Put out an album, quit rapping. He a millionaire, but controversy sales. Uh, uh, Charlemagne, like they, they drop tidbits, but they'll but they'll tell you, they'll drop tidbits of the truth, but then they'll also show you that look, if we want to make money, we gotta deal with the BS. We're gonna sell the BS. Charlemagne to say, uh, but a lie is more entertaining. He loves saying that. <laughs> people, uh, j people just they'll tell you the truth if you listen. People want to deal with the BS. You said it in many of your videos. People want to hear you talk trash about other people. Once you start talking about the temple, you ain't going to get no views. So you said, Sakari says, once they start talking about the temple and the Torah, they don't get no views. So let's talk about, yo, this is this is Israelites talking about what's ha what's happening with Takashi. People want to come listen. I've been listening to another Israelite channel. I don't want to dog them out, so I ain't going to put their name out there. But I'm pissed off from seeing them on my, because I listen, I got everything on my timeline. I got people in different categories. I want to listen to certain things. I have them on my on my uh, YouTube timeline on subscriptions. 
But when I see one of the Israelite groups putting out videos over and over again about Chirac and stuff like that, not calling out no names, I'm like, why are you talking about it? Like, um, if you're gonna talk about it, let's let's talk about it on a um, let's let's deal with scriptures. Period. Like, it's the only way we're gonna get views, though, is we, if we talk about the BS, which I understand. So I'm like, dang, that's what the people want. All people, people look at that video. They don't want to listen to Mighty Hebrew. They want to listen to, let's put a video out on Takashi, who's an industry plant, who just backed by police just to get people locked up. Let's talk about that. Man, somebody tell the truth, man. Everybody know that's what it is. It's fake. Why you want to watch it, though? Because I, I, I can't explain it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is it even you know what's still? Uh, I may cut you off. I'm sorry. Uh, me and Trey was talking, and um, actually, it was me, Trey, and Kill were talking like the other night, and I was like, you know what? Israelites is supposed to be the last, like, line of like defense. You know what I mean? Like, like if if the Israelites, Israelites, you know, this is where you're supposed to come to for the last line of defense. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 all. Whatever and the untries and the false philosophies and all that foolishness, whatever. We're supposed to be that last that you know what? I don't have been through all that. I finally arrived at the truth. Here it is. But but like you said, bro, like once this is spoiled, now where do you go? Like once work I'm sorry, once is like movements like compromised and infiltrated and watered down and whatever, whatever. Like then, where, where do the people go? You know, you know what I'm saying. Like, don't get me wrong. Listen to to, to the brother who said that. Whatever. Like, even I knew that in my old first channel, I would talk about battle rap and stuff, whatever. whatever but it'd be like sprinkled in here and there. I, I didn't want to talk about just this one thing. I mean, I wanted to be mostly multi-dimensional. But I knew that if I kept doing that, that's selling up. Like if I did, just did it back to back to back to back to back to back. Then the people they wouldn't ever they would never watch the teachings. They would only watch the ones that were pertaining to battle rap or pertaining to this or pertaining to that, right? So I I always knew it mix it up or whatever, whatever. But the foundation is the Torah. So at the end of the day, it's like well, I have this. I make this video talking about let's say I'm saying I'm saying hypothetically, I make this video about Takashi Six Nine, right? And then like fifteen thousand people watch that video. They don't even know that this channel is an Israelite channel, a Torah channel. But then, out of that fifteen thousand people, like ten people are like, hmm, "I'm in my, What does this do? Ten people out of that fifteen thousand, they're like, "Yo, this dude's talking about like this and that and this one, you know, or, or, or you know." And then what happens? You got ten people out of that fifteen thousand that subscribe because they're like, "What you what?" What you really talk about, they're interested in. It's ten people out of fifteen thousand, right? So sometimes you gotta like take that net, throw it in the water, and you're gonna get a whole bunch of unwanted, but the precious, the precious ones you keep. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they stick. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, that's how how it works. So, but I do agree with you though. If you keep like staying in that entertainment thing, wherever, then you sold out. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not saying you, you're doing rituals and you're doing whatever, but the principle, the Torah is the principle, is it's the it's the foundation. So you're supposed to be sticking with that. If that, forget them. You know you're not supposed to cater to the to the to the smooth interpretation seeking, you know prophecy to a smooth things. You ain't supposed to cater to that. So yeah, I, I agree. But every once in a while you do gotta like cast your net in another field to gather up. The ones who may not have, have heard your word, right? Like I might, I might talk about um. I, I don't make videos about marijuana, but I'll make a video about how you know uh, cannabinoid receptors in the body, and you know or whatever. Because people who smoke weed, who may not be in the Torah, might be interested in. Wait a minute, the the Torah and the, and weed. Well, let me see what this is about. Oh, this is scientific. Okay, let me let me check it out. And they might subscribe and they become interested. Like this dude's building on building on something real. You know, he's talking about something of a substance. Or like I said, a battle rap. 
you know, I had, I had bro, I, you know, uh, B dot from Battle Rap. He battled Daylight. Like me and that brother was talking. He's down polite. I tell his brother, like, bro, like, what are you, like, bro, like, what are you doing with this, this dude, man? This dude's a scam artist. You know, he's like, well, you know, that that's polite. That's not me. But, bro, you're down with them, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when people see you, they know you're affiliated with polite. You know, whatever. But he's a cool brother. I talked to him. Uh, Bosco 100. I talk, if you know who that is. Uh, who else? Um, MC Shan. Um, man, there's a few other people that I, t- I talked to. Um, uh, DJ Vlad subscribed to the channel. But once he saw, like, okay, this dude is building on this, he was like, nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. Uh, if you go to a, 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 a channel called Hip Hop Di- Hip Hop Classics Daily, that's old God from in the black media. Like me and him used to talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, so some of these people out there, they know. You know, they they know. That's why you have, like, believe it or not, that's what I'm saying. Like, why you think there was a channel out there that had Judah Nazareth in the title three days in a row and brought in over two thousand and something views or whatever? But then as soon as they stop talking about Judah Nazareth and start doing what they usually do, what happened? Nobody cares. So, you know, it, that's that's what it is, man. Like, we're, we're you know, Torah Nice is a threat because we're not, we're, we're, we we have this knowledge that does enlighten the mind. I know I'm rambling. I'm, 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 I'm you my mic, but yeah. Torah Nice is a threat. I ain't saying it's not one person. That's why I'll be like, yo, get off that Judah Nazareth thing. They, they want to like, the enemy wants to talk about Judah Nazareth. I'm like, nah, bro. Judah Nazareth is a part of a group. You know, you're not gonna like make your name off of Judah Nazareth. When I'm part of a group, Torah Knights. Like, this is not Judah Nazareth. This is not uh, what's the group? Uh, Bruce Springsteen, Bruce Springsteen, and the whoever his group is, or you know, uh, you know how they used to do in the '50s and '60s. It'd be like the lead singer, and well, okay, the Bob Marley and the Wailers. Like, nah, bro. Like. You know, it's the whalers, bro. Like that's what you're gonna get. You know. That's it. I respect that perspective, and I respect that because now I look back at the channel. I think it's frustration because I look back at the channel now, and I see this is something recent, and I can see that being we got to get a draw, and we let's sprinkle some in, and sprinkle some truth in, but. Just bring bring them out according to this way, and I it, it, like you. I think you said in one of the videos from the channel that got took down. The Israelite movement dying, man. I mean, it's now. I, I guess it's getting to be desperation now because it's really. I, I've been seeing it, but it is getting to the point. I think the. Uh, I don't know. I ain't gonna call it like the certain camps. They just, it just seemed like they push so much BS. That it's here to the point people ain't dealing with it. Man. People really, really, really try to hear us no more. So, you know, people get it's a desperation attempts out there now. Like, yo, let's maybe if we talk about this and that. They're going to come listen. But dang, man. It, it's, it feels like it's dying before our eyes, but I mean, we know what prophecy is about to happen. So, I don't, I don't know. That's the point. Yeah, bro, it is. I, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. It is, bro. Uh, one group answered me back from a video, and they were like, "Dude, Nazareth, bugging. This word is going out, bro. We've been on YouTube for almost a decade talking about this. Of course, it went out, but it like hit the ceiling. Like, dudes, I think dudes be so in, engulfed in their little world, they don't see the big picture. They don't know how to like look 10, 10 miles down the road, left and right, up and down. They like stay in their little group and they'd be like, you know, all they see is their little group and they'd be like, this word is like, no, bruh. Man, the enemy knows what it is with our people. He knows all they gotta do is just, just give you some money, bruh. Just give you something and you'll water it down. They, they know that. And and you'll start seeing dudes like getting like super, super, duper high views, but the, but the content is mad watered down. Not potent, not threatening. Enemy doesn't man. The enemy listen. Like with all things, the precious things are always underground. Oh, man, the precious gems are all. You got to dig, bro. Like it's this always like this. How it is in the music. It's how it is with everything, bro. You want the real? The real is always underground. You want the the copper, the profane, the the, the little rocks you're just hearing about. 
man, just type in Hebrew Israelites. They'll pop up. But them ones who was really giving you that real, that real substance, you got to dig, bro. And, like, you got to listen to them. And, like, your attention span got to be longer than, like, two minutes to, like, grasp what's really going on. So there's you know, only so long. You There's only so many things you can say uh, the white man's the devil keep the commandments and then that's it. There's only so many times you can say the white man's oppressed us, bro. We heard, we could, I got on this Israelite movie. There's so many videos from the 90s and early 2000s that's telling you this stuff. There's, there's so many Alex Jones stuff that's telling you the government is corrupt. There's, there's only so much of that. When you're going to break down the Bible and tell you that the Bible is more than just some, like, like, like super, like, when you're going to get into the science and mathematics, of it. When you're going to start showing people that, yo, this stuff is way deeper than what they told you. They didn't tell you the truth. They didn't tell you that it was three. They didn't tell you that it wasn't two naked people in the garden talking to a snake. That's not what it's about. They didn't, they know, when are you going to tell people that's not what it's about? It's way more deeper than that. Like, when are you going to tell people the truth about that? You, there's only so long you can tell people, look, white man's the devil. Come join us. Put on a costume and give me your money every week. They ain't hearing that no more, bro. How when you like they're not nobody's listening. This is a new generation, bro. We got a YouTube now, bro. People woke up. We ain't stupid no more, bro. We can figure out the truth about what's going on. But I mean, that's it. That, man. It's so simple, man. People they no, bro. You're right, bro. Bro, hey, hey. The white, hey, the white man's the devil. The Illuminati, the white man's the devil, the Illuminati. That that's and then, you know what I heard a group say, man. Paul is a spiritual. The Torah ain't nothing but a book of laws. I'm like, and you know, I mean, let me ask, let me ask a panel, let me ask a panel, right? Let me ask a panel, right? When when like the brother brought out that the Torah is much more than just a book of laws. Like I don't know why. The, do you think that like these entities that, excuse me, that teach this way, do you think they are literally like they're blinded? They don't know. They can't see this much more, or they're doing this on purpose. Like they, 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 they you know, because if if you teach that the, the Torah is just a book of laws, and that Christ is the spiritual aspect, then first off, that's that's going backwards for one. But do you think they're like Yahweh like blinded them? To that, or they're doing it on purpose? Because I honestly, I don't know. Man, they know. People know. At the end of the day, you over here telling them, "Okay, we Israelites. Now come back to Jesus. Come to Jesus." Like they know you playing. They, they, they not hearing that. That's BS, bro. We grown up now, bro. We get. We know we got to do something now. We've been praying for. Centuries, bro. You're not gonna keep talking about Jesus. Okay, we Israelites. That's good. And then you say Jesus, and then you just put a <laughs> cats out here ain't listening to that, man. Like somebody, some of us that had the sermon, listened to it, and was like, "Okay, you told me we Israelites. Maybe Jesus is saying something deeper." Which I caught something out of that, and that's how I came to Torah. But a lot of people don't have that discernment. They say, oh, we Israelites. And then you start talking Christ. And then it's, oh, <laughs> you, you're one of them cats. Give me your time. Money. Oh, uh, and then, oh, you're a cult now. Oh, put on this. You got to throw away the world. Put on this garment. Don't talk to your family no more. Like, come on. That's, this, is, this is 90s, 80s uh, 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 witchcraft, uh, 90s, 80s hypnosis, man. You're not going to get these new cats off of that, man. Not with the new age stuff that they that people putting on them. Not with these books out here, these audio books and stuff. They not you gotta come harder than that. Come with some real Torah. That's gonna bring them to the truth. Stop breaking down that mathematics, that secret nation of God's earth stuff they, that people what people ain't know about. You gotta give them that that cube. And that's when they're gonna get intrigued. Not talking about Christ and saying, oh. The white man is the reason you down, bro. 
They didn't work in the 80s. How is it going to work now? Tell them the truth, man. Tell them about their uh, soul. I want to mm-hmm. say something real quick. You know, um, we was talking about the music. You know, remember that song, Goody Mob? Um, the first hit, I think it was uh, Who Peeping Through My Window. This before, first, this, this before, um, Goody Mob. You know what I'm saying? They got initiated. You know what I'm saying? Sold all the way out. That's why I used to listen to their stuff when I was coming up. It was one thing that was, I, for some reason, I don't th- I, I think about really bad music anymore that much. But for some reason, the past week, I was thinking about um, that saying they said, "Listen to me now, believe me later on." It's like that's that's a key. That's a very deep saying. Listen to me now, believe me later on. Yeah. Um, what you were saying about yeah, <laughs> what, what you were saying about uh, they say the white man's the devil. White man's the devil, right? Like it's all half truths. To get you in, to you know, to wear a costume, get your money, whatever, to, to, to take your spirit and soul. So they actually working for the so-called, if you want to say white man, the Masons. So they tell you, like you said, they're not gonna give you the hidden knowledge of the tour. That's for them or their, you know, bosses that they send them down on orders. That's for only for them to know, right? The secret knowledge. They don't even have that knowledge because Yahweh blocked them out. They're all pagan, pagan stuff. But they want us stupid. They want us dumber than them. Right. If you go to Zachariah, so so when you're surrounded by these guys, you know, like, oh well, people that look like you are good, they're actually your enemies. Cause they signed up. They went they went to college, they signed up with the Greek frats. That's what we put out. Tor Knights exposed that. You know what I'm saying? The Greek frats, they come in speaking eloquently, educated. And the whole thing is to oversee you because of new slavery now, right? The chains are gone. They have to have some way to watch you. And they have the overseers that get paid to watch you. They get handouts and, 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 and kickbacks and stuff. But they got to do rituals and all that stuff. We don't get into all that. But I want to get a scripture because the Torah gets into all that as well. It talks about the Masons, right? Go to Zechariah 1, verse 20 to 21. And Yahweh showed me four carpenters. Then said I, what come these to do? And he spake, saying, these are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to fray them, to cast them out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horn over the land of Judah, to scatter it. So the whole thing is to scatter us. Oh, uh, um, you know, white man's devil, um, the Torah is just the laws. Uh, we all need to come together. Um, Christ is God, right? So all things is all set up. And, they, and that's just the uh, religious side. They got you with the media, with the celebrities. It's all Masonic. They speak in symbols to deceive you, right? Then you got Psalm 75, verse 10. But when you can see them and you got Yahweh and the truth of the Torah, now you're a problem because they can't mess with you intellectually. Yahweh's going to push more for you than them, and they, they can't stay in that. Money, money, money. But we got the real jewels. Go to Psalm 75, verse 10. We got we full of spirit and joy. They full of misery. They can't get sleep at night. The wicked can't sleep. Psalm 75, verse 10. This is, the, this is the end of them. Who says, I will cut off the horns of all the wicked, but the horns of the righteous will be lifted up? See? So when you in that Torah, the Yahweh's going to lift you up. Lift your horn up. He will cut off theirs. And that's what we did. Salah. Yahweh Khan. I, I want to say, uh, um, if, if you first off, uh, Proverbs chapter 20, verse uh, 27 A man's soul is the lamp of Yahweh, whereas of one's inward, of one's inners, right? So, so you know full well, as you know, you know, like I want everyone out there to know look, there's degrees in this, 
you, you, if you don't believe it, go to Psalm, go to Psalm 120 and keep going. It's going to say this, this, the Psalms or the Songs of Accent, A-S-C-E-N-T, which accent means to means degrees. It means rising up. The word ma'ala, right? So, but uh, Psalm, was it, uh, Proverbs 20, verse 27 said that, Yahweh, that the soul is the lamp of Yahweh, and he like searches your innards. And he ain't talking about your, your liver and your spleen and your, your colon. He's, he's talking about the inward self. Yahweh searches that. You know what I'm saying? That's what the temple is. That's why he said in Ezekiel 43, verse 10, let the temple design be known to the children of Israel that they may be ashamed of their, of their iniquities and, you know, that they may repent. So why'd you have this outside force come in and never really even give you any, like, substance behind just to, they may give you a blanket, just accusation. That's Kabbalah and Freemasonry. No proof, no, no in-depth this, no exposure, just a just a bold accusation. And as always, Israel, always susceptible to the teacup, always falls for it. Always. Like you just, you just can't get right. But look, if you go to Genesis, right? Like Trey Tell was touch, he's touching on, right? I was talking about talking about this on Facebook Live. In the beginning, in Genesis. Let me get to it real quick. Genesis uh, chapter, uh, Mer Mervyn knows where I'm going, because I was talking about this the other night. Uh, Genesis chapter, um, what is it, Genesis chapter 3? All right, Genesis chapter 3. Let me just go to verse 4, right? So the serpent comes, right? Now, the serpent does represent a people, and not just one people, but a per people at a given point in time, like, right? You had the Egyptians who had the serpent knowledge. You had the Assyrians who had the serpent knowledge. You had the Greeks who had the serpent knowledge. The Romans, the Babylonians, the you know all the way up until you know who now has the serpent knowledge, right? That's outward. Then you have the serpent, which is inwardly, right, within yourself, your sinful inclination, right? That that you know that that Judah, yo, do this. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to like fight, fight, you know, because you got the angels who are like, nah, Judah, don't do that. Right. So if you read in the book of Genesis, you have the angels who are talking about let us and you got the serpent being like, hey, yo, uh, you know, whatever. Right. So, it's, you know, remember when Jacob laid down on that rock, it said a ladder proceeded from his mind and there were angels descending and ascending from his mind. Right. So I'm going to show you already. Right. That's that's when the uh, the, the testimony is here. But if the testimony is not if the Ark of the Covenant is not in your mind, then what's occupying it? Demons. Right. Because they're, they're demons of the book fallen angel they're 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 lower messengers right telling you to do that wickedness right but hold on Genesis chapter 4 I'm sorry Genesis chapter 3 verse uh, 4 the serpent said to the woman you will sure you will not surely die for God knows that on the day you eat of it your eyes will be open and you will be like God doing good and evil right and the woman perceived that the tree was good for eating and that it was delight to the eyes and that the tree was desirable as a means to wisdom and she took it of its fruit, and she ate, and she gave it also to her husband with her, and he ate. And the eyes of them were, both were open, and they realized that they were naked, and they sewed together a fig leaf and made themselves aprons. Now, wait a minute. First off, like, let me explain, break down to that first off. Look, that's an allegory for one, right? I just want to, get, I just want to talk about the pertinent parts. If, if you look at the serpent, right, if you go to the same chapter and you go to, like, verse 22, it says, and Yahweh God said, Behold, man has become like the unique one amongst us, knowing good and evil. Now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree or counsel of life and eat and live forever. So you see that there's like the angels and you got the serpent. Right? People get confused about that. First off, the, the angels, you know, they're Yahweh's messengers, right? But they descend in the mind, right? So the tree. It's also the word ots also means counsel. The word counsel means information. So you have like the Masons, right? You see them, they 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 they, they have an apron over their loins. They put the apron over their loins. Did it not say here that Adam and Eve they realized that they were naked and sold fig leaves over their naked parts? Don't the Masons sow or you over their Wi-Fi over their over their 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 parts, 
right? Like, what's the meaning behind that? I don't want to get into that right now. That's for another lesson. All I'm saying is, you have when you, when you get into the Torah, you learn the signs and symbols and allegories and all these things, the, the, the secret wisdom in the Torah, right? And then you have the serpent knowledge, which is not the Torah. It looks like the Torah, like it has, it may have like the shield of David, but its interpretation is left-handed. It might have the cross, but its interpretation is left-handed. It might have the tree, but its interpretation is left-handed, like that Kabbalah tree, right? Clearly, there's no Kabbalah. There's no ten sephiroth in the temple. But in Proverbs, it tells you about the tree. We just read it in the in the Torah too, in Proverbs chapter three, verse oh, what was it? Three verse uh, twenty-two. The, the tree of life. If I'm not mistaken, if I go to Proverbs chapter three, verse nineteen, it says the Torah is a tree of life. If I'm not mistaken, hold on. Let me get that get to that real quick. I meet my mind. Hold on. Let me see if, if uh, Proverbs chapter. Remember, somebody got caught with the Kabbalah tree, right? And they call that the tree of life, even though you can't find that anywhere in the Torah at all. Right? Hold on. Bear with me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Proverbs three verse nineteen. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I'm sorry. Proverbs chapter three verse eighteen. It is a tree of life to those who grasp it, and its supporters are, are praiseworthy. Now, and if this is also in uh, uh, Proverbs 11, verse 30. Hold on. Proverbs 11, verse 30. Proverbs 11, verse 30. The fruit of the righteous one is a tree of life, and the wise man acquires souls. Right? It ain't talking about no ten sephiroth Kabbalah tree of life. It's talking about the Torah. Is a tree of life, right? So, so the people who the guardians of the, of the temple of the Torah, they can see. Remember, the serpent and the angels both said the same thing: that they can that that if you eat of this council, you'll be able to see, right? So now we see, and the wicked ones see. The people in the middle, they're deaf, dumb, and blind. So they're gonna. They're, Excuse me. Depending on how they feel, excuse me, or if you how it opens their eyes, they're gonna like see and they're gonna be like, well, wait a minute. We see what Torah Knights are teaching over here. No, this is not wicked. No, we're not gonna use it, this knowledge deceitfully. Yes, it makes me better, and you know, whatever. Then you look on the left hand side, yeah, they see too. They're seeing it. They know that if they, because the people who don't see, they make money off of them, right? Trey Tell told you already, like he, he learned, like, like, you know, like those who can see on the left-handed side, they use the ones who can't see, they make money off of them. But, but those of us on the right-handed side, those who can't see, you grab them, we try to grab them, bring them in and open their eyes and be like, hey, look. Only pitfall with that is, is, you know, once their eyes are open and they see, they'd be like, this doesn't benefit me at all. I want that over there. And they go over. That's why you see so many people drop out of the truth and go over to the left-hand side. But it profits them nothing because who controls the left-handed side? The oppressor does. And he's not going to give you a whole lot. You, our people are not having, they don't have anything. Like that material substance, whatever. Most of the time, our people are like, you know what? I don't see the benefit of, of the spiritual knowledge. I don't see the benefit of it. Just give me everything. I, why do you think me and Trey? We were talking about this, right? Rappers and actors, right? They join the organizations that allow them to quote unquote see. They don't see the council of good, which is the Torah. They see the council of evil, which is what. They do what they got to do to get that money. And then when they get that money and fame, what happens? They wind up being like, man, I just did all this for nothing because now i got everything. I My Wi-Fi broke up. I, uh, I got everything I wanted in life that's material, but I'm still unhappy. And I got to sleep at night knowing that I did this and did that to get this. 
But that's why Yahweh be like praiseworthy, who's you know the man whose like, conscience is clear, because you didn't have to sell out or do nothing filthy, and Yahweh like gave you the Torah. That's why it says I gave the Torah to the upright. So your conscience is not defiled. You didn't have to do abominations to get where you at. Like, like think about it, right? Well, why did they attack the Torah knights? Because you are the opposite end of the pole. You can see your reward is spiritual. Your, your treasure is in heaven. On the opposite side, those dudes are, they think that they're very high, but they're very low. Their conscience is defiled. They get some type of material benefit, but there's it's not Yahweh that's giving it to them. Somebody else who controls that. Uh, Trey, tell, what would you say? Uh, about the, the, the saying, somebody was like, you know, they watched the movie, they said, uh, uh, you, uh, God, how God feels about money. Oh, go ahead, brother. Uh, explain it to the public, please. Again, I was I was watching this movie. I can't remember the name of it, but just certain things in certain movies just stick in my head. It probably wasn't that good of a movie. It's probably why I can't remember it. But it's a certain scene where it goes. Um, it's two guys sitting in the bar. I think they're both criminals. Um, and, and they turn about doing a heist or doing something dirty to get some money. And uh, when the guys go to the other one, he goes. Um, what do you know about money? Another guy goes, he's all arrogant. He's like, uh, I know a lot about money. I know money. I raise money. What you talking about, right? So the other guy goes, you know how you can tell what God thinks about money? He goes, how can, he how can you tell what God thinks about money? He goes, just look at who has it. <laughs> Yep, all the top, like when he says who has it, who has the most. Yep. Yep. Hey, I want to bring a scripture. <clears throat> Jumping up, piggybacking on what y'all said. Um, I don't know how much y'all deal with uh, some of the apocrypha writings, but some truth. Land back, bro, land back. No pig, no pork. No pork, nah, bro, no pork. Uh, I say piggy bank, my father. <laughs> hey, horse, uh, yeah, good bank. Hey, I just want to go off what y'all say. Um, where it says in uh, Sirach, uh, uh 11, uh, 23, it says, say now what profit is there in my service and what good things shall I have hereafter? I mean, because it says, um, uh, the blessing of the blessing of Yahweh is in the world is in the reward of the godly, and suddenly he maketh his blessing flourish. So, like it, it's nothing for, and it goes on to say it's nothing for Yahweh to make a poor man rich on a sudden, like he did David. Like out of, David went from being somebody that's not being acknowledged, but believed in Yahweh, you know, doing all type of miraculous things while he was you know, as just defend his own sheep to him getting that opportunity to go against Goliath when everybody else was shook, everybody else claiming Yahweh, calling his name and all that stuff, but they were scared to stand up against somebody that was going against Israel. But um, also, uh, what was one thing when you, you brought out uh, the tree of life, like it tells you, like you say, Torah is tree of life. This is in, this is in Proverbs. When it talks about Proverbs chapter three, verse and I apologize, I'm reading from the King James, but the same message. It says, um, Proverbs chapter 3, you, at verse 13, it starts, says, Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that give, get up understanding. You jump down to verse 18, it says, She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is everyone that uh, retaineth her. I mean, this tree of life is telling you wisdom, This, which is the Torah. You know, that's all it is. That, I mean, that that's the tree of life. It tells you that. But I mean, like I came into this truth dealing with. I came through. I, well, first I was like he brought me through so many different things. So that's why I almost can't really be mad at people because I'm like, he, like a lot of people didn't go through the things we went through to get to the truth. You know, you go into somebody that just came off of going through years of just listening to certain things and then choosing to, uh, and then you just throwing the, 
throwing, throwing the truth at him. It's like waking a man out of sound sleep, as it says in the Surah. You know, but it, like I, I, I dealt with, I first came through uh, Greek philosophy, which I, which I realized was the Egyptian mystery school teachings, but which was talking about the soul. But I realized I found a folly in that. I went through Moorish doctrine, which taught me nationality, spit out the bones, which was we Moors, which is folly. But learned nationality and the purpose of nationality and who we are, which brought me to Isaiah chapter one, verse three. Apologize for the King James, but um, the ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know. My people don't even consider. They're not even, they're not, people don't understand the purpose of even coming back to this Torah. Like, you know, it tells you all in the Torah that the Torah is going to be our wisdom amongst the people. Like, it's what makes us wise. The people already know. Like people were, we taught the people the to Torah back then. We taught Queen of Sheba the to Torah. Like they was like, "Yo, y'all got it." It it tells you throughout the Torah that they realize, "Oh snap, these people figured out what the truth is on this planet." So, um, we, you know, the only way we can get them off their throne or out of power is we get them to start dealing with our folly while we start dealing with the truth. They know the truth. We studying the books they we didn't write like this stuff in English. We didn't create these concordance, man. Like they they knew they have control, they have this stuff, they know a lot of these things, not the lowest of their people, not all of them, but like the highest, the 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 the, the intellectuals, they they the the Vatican, they know all this stuff, man. So they that's why they're not gonna let these channels get get uh get recognition. They know all this stuff. So they're gonna make sure, like, you know, as soon as y'all start talking that stuff, we're gonna start pushing that down. We're gonna put agents out there and we're gonna put, we're gonna have what Alex Jones called it when I used to listen to him, he called it control opposition. Have people faking Israelite and they're gonna uh what Judah say before. Or and what he what we get from your house, the Torah teachers' teachings. He say, um, people blocking you from the uh, I can't remember the quote, but blocking you from the kingdom, like not trying to let you hear the truth. So they want to call it Kabbalah. They're going to prevent the. Uh, I forgot. I forgot the exact quote. But uh, yeah, prevent the people from entering into the kingdom, pretty much. Khan, let me add to that. Let me add to that. Um, Deuteronomy chapter four, um, verse five. See, I have imparted to you laws and rules as Yahweh, my Elohim, has commanded me for you to abide in the land that you are about to enter and to occupy. Observe them faithfully, for that will be a proof of your wisdom and discernment of other people who, on hearing of all these laws, will say, "Surely that great nation is a wise." And a discerning people, for what great nation is there that has a Elohim so close at hand, as in Yahweh, our Elohim, whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has laws and rules as perfect as all this Sawara that I set before you this day? Keep the Torah, man. You're going to be wise to the other nations. Isaiah tell you this, we're going to be teaching the nations the Torah. We're going to be like the light. We're going to be the ruling council. But but we've been we've been we've been Israelite groups out for for years, and our situation hasn't changed. So obviously we're not keeping the Torah. I'm, I'm saying I'm saying like like look, I, I often think about this. I'd be like, look, yeah, like our people who haven't who who refuse to, to turn back, like can you like do away with them because like they do hold back like progress. Like if you think about it, right? Are we really gonna wait for Chief Keith to come to the Torah? Bro, he ain't gonna come to the Torah, bro. So we have to wait on him to 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 you know for to get to get out of oppression. We'll be here forever. Like it's just Gucci man's not going to pick up the Torah and like no, bro, he's comfortable. So yeah, we need how to like do away with a good number so that those who keep the Torah, like we're like that seed that's planted in the ground and then you know whatever, right? Because look, Psalm eighty-one verse fourteen, he was like. If only my people would heed me, if Israel would walk in my ways, in an instant I would subdue their foes 
and against their tormentors, I would turn my hand. Well, we've been teaching, well, not we, because Tor Nice is like the smallest group. They call us the rebel group. We don't abide by the rules. What rules? Yahweh said, keep the Torah. Like, what rules are people following? Like, you know, like, 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 just, just ask yourself that. If Yahweh said, if my people would, would heed my ways, I would subdue their tormentors. Well, and I'm not like, I'm not like talking trash about the camps, but we got to keep it real. Are they keeping the Torah? Are they teaching the Torah? Because whatever they're doing, Yahweh was still like, oh, oh, I didn't tell you to, to teach that. So I'm going to keep y'all in captivity because I didn't tell y'all to teach that. I told you to teach the Torah, to keep my Torah. If you keep looking at it as a, just a book of laws and you're not teaching out of it, you're not learning it. Like, right? Like, I'm just going to generalize. I'm just going to say the camps. The camps, the curses, the camps be like, the curses, the curses, the curses. Well, bro, like, where do the curses start from? It starts from here. You, you, you can't say, well, keep the laws. Follow Jesus. The, like Jesus, my, my mama's Jesus hasn't helped her, and he hasn't helped anybody. You can go to any poor black neighborhood in America or wherever, in England or wherever, or wherever, wherever we're scattered at, and there's Jesus churches everywhere, and people are still selling crack, still getting mowed down with, with guns. Our young sisters are still doing doing whatever, they're still dying, and Jesus ain't helping. We're not talking about the actual man, because if we actually listen to the actual man, he he bring you back to the Torah. Our people need the Torah. They need to learn science, mathematics, geometry, economics, you know, whatever. They need that. That's what the Torah Always, if you watch boxing, what do they always say? Kill the head, kill the body. Right? Like, like when, you're, when you're boxing, right, and you beat up the body, yeah, like, you know, don't get me wrong, yeah, that, that, that's, a, that's a process in time, right? If you're, if you're a body puncher, it's a process in time. Like, you, you, you keep going to the body, like, pretty soon, like, dude's legs and arm strength is going to wear out. But if a dude's fresh, his body's nice and fresh, and he takes that, like, left hook to the, to the chin, like, that dude might be, like, full strength. But as soon as that, that – Dude's knocked out, bro. Like, that's what happened to Israel. Like, the head got knocked out. So it doesn't matter if the body is, is, is strong or whatever. If the head ain't right, what good is it? That's the curse. If you think about the mind as a field or as a garden, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is, it, what is our, like, the, I'm going to say the camps. I'm not saying all of them. Let's just generalize the camps. If you look at them as a garden, what are they producing? Wild reed, bushes, weeds, you know. It's not well lined up vegetables and, you know, whatever. It's, it's not. It's not tended to. Dudes ain't pruning. They're not pulling out weeds. They're not tending. They're not turning over soil. They're not, they're not tending to the garden of Eden, the garden of pleasures. They're just saying, where are your fringes at? Worship Jesus. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Caleb. Yeah, like you're saying, wild bushes. So this is everywhere. And like you saying about the head and the elders is the head and they not right. So what you expect the, the whole congregation to move like? They're not gonna be moving right. Yeah, man. So what, what do you do? Like, like you said, you can't sit here make the cheap key. Like you know what I mean to pick up the door. Man, that's that's that that's hardly ever gonna happen. <laughs> that's hardly ever gonna happen. Um, these, I don't know, man. It's, these dudes are organized. They're, they're very organized. They're coming in, and they, they, they're, they're feeding. Like, they're, they're eating on these, like, these dumb, deaf and blind people. They're just, like, just gnawing on them. And they, they come in, like, like I said, like, they, they led them to a dry well, stepped off, and they see you know they're gonna be leading you right back to Jesus. They're gonna be all these brothers and stuff that that left that Jesus stuff. They're gonna end up right back, and that's what they came here for. 
You know what I mean? Just, just throw the spin doctor on him and cast the web, get you all tied up. That's it. See you right back where he was. And you knew you had it in your hand. You had it right in the palm of your hand. And you just threw it away. It's amazing how uh, this dude is going back, back to Jesus. Right back to Jesus. So you know what that means. He's going to go attack some other group now. Um, this foolishness. Foolishness. Con, I'm looking at... Um Speaking of the agent, I'm on Judas page right now, and I'm reading this. Uh, he posted this like a day ago. Check this out, killer. He goes, "No God." I don't know why it's on my screen. Okay, no God put you into captivity. You were taken of advantage of spiritually and forced into slavery. Yeah, I said it. Wow. You know who that is? That dude always taking shots at the Torah. He just said he just went against the Torah. Well, say it again, Chris, or uh, Tretel? No, no God put you into captivity. You were taken advantage of spiritually and forced into slavery. Yeah, I See? said it. See? He's taking jabs. He's Very taking jabs. He's been doing that. He's been, he took, he's been taking jabs at Rob Rack and them. He's wrong. He's following. He he like says he just, he just called the Torah a lie, and but dudes are still. Br br I'm telling you, bro. The Torah wouldn't be right if it wasn't if there wasn't people that was that was in the wrong. It has people. There's some people that's going to be wrong. There's there's two thirds as they as the prophets will put it. <sighs> It could be it could be anger because of what's been transpired the past few days. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and we, we've, seen that. we've seen that before. You know what I mean? When, when, when certain these individuals they, they, they find out the truth, it, it, it kills them. They don't know what they want to do. And, and the first thing is to lash out. How many dudes we gonna see break down on, on YouTube? Erase all their videos. All types of stuff. How many times we been we been through all that? Oh. I got a scripture. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me get a scripture off for that um case. Um, Jeremiah chapter seventeen verse nine. Most devious is the heart; it is per uh, perverse. Who can fathom it? Ah, Yahweh, probe the heart, search the mind, to repay every man according to his ways with the proper fruits of his deeds. This is a continuous thing. Yahweh is continuously searching your heart. He's like continuously testing you out. So this is what happened to me, you know. Yeah, I was seeing wicked wickedness and just uh, gave him his reward. Well, these guys are full of demons. They don't care about uh, the spiritual. They only want uh, monetary gain. They gonna get it too. Oh, they gonna get oh. that monetary, that death. Egypt. And then what, going into that concentration camp, getting slapped upside the head with a rifle. Oh, bro, that's gonna happen soon. <laughs> Let them get their money now. Let them get it now. It's look at what's going on, bro. It's a wrap. Yeah, yeah. How it says money's not gonna save you in that day. Money's not gonna mean anything. You better You'll be go using that. that You'll be trying to use that to burn up and stay warm. It's gonna be kindled, <laughs> kindling. There ain't gonna be no staying warm in that concentration camp. You're gonna be in a cage. You better hope it ain't winter time, like Jesus said. <laughs> hope it ain't the winter or the summer, baby. <laughs> Think they gonna give you heat? <laughs> I need mean, it's it's cold in here. What the fuck? Hey, hey King Kosher, you saw that they don't believe. Oh, they ahead, don't believe that's happening though. They they believe that they believe in the American dream. They don't believe in the Torah. You how that's why uh, Psalm twenty-five, verse five. It was like, well, verse four. Do good to good people, and to the upright in their hearts. But to those who, to, I'm sorry, but to those who turn to their perverseness, Yahweh will lead them with the doers of iniquity. Like he, like you know, straight up like.
bugs you out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these dudes are bugged out of their mind. So when 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 the bad stuff begins to happen, who's gonna what are they gonna call to? Osiris? Horus? Isis? Like what are you gonna call to, bro? Hey Zeus. Man. Oh it, wait, wait, speaking of that, Christians out there, if y'all watching, y'all got the wise enough. Dudes just be bouncing from here to there to from here to there, from here to there. If a duke is not well rooted and grounded and don't stand on stand up for nothing, but only stands up for something at that opportune time, right? You know, y- Yeshua. First off, if you go to Moses' successor's name, his name is Yahweh Shah. The brother in our group, his name is not Yeshua, Joshua, Yahweh Shah. Yahweh is savior. Yahweh is salvation. Dudes would be like Yeshua. Yet it's Jesus. And then he's like, he's the, he's like, he's the anointed one. That's right. I said it. Whoever's got a problem with that, get at me. He wasn't talking to Tor Knights. He was talking to Rob Rack in his circle. Because what did they say on the common board? Are you a Christian? Well, for that moment, he is. You don't believe in e- either book. But whatever... Whatever is, is beneficial for him at that point in time, that's where he's going to go, bro. Stands for nothing. Bro, I want to put out something in a, a, you know, I mean, it's just many, many little scriptures they got in a little, little doctrine real quick. <laughs> out of their little, out of their uh, created testament in Luke 16, 28, uh, Yahweh Shai, the uh, a, to- a Torah teacher, said, "For well, I had he was given a parable talking about a rich man going into the place of torment, and the rich man over here talking about I need to tell my people how not to get to this place of torment after you die." And Yahweh Shai said, "The rich man said, look, I have." He says in verse uh, Luke sixteen verse twenty eight, he says, "For well, I have five brethren that." Uh, for I have five brethren that he may testify unto them lest they come unto the place of torment. And Abraham said unto him, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. This is what Yahweh Shai said. Yahweh Shai didn't say they got Mark, Luke, John, and uh, uh, Mark, Luke, John, Bill, and, and, and Jesus. You know what I'm saying? He ain't say they, they, they you know what I'm saying? They, he ain't say they got uh, Sam and uh john all up up the street he said they got moses and the prophets period they got moses and the prophets let them hear them like even he said and the people you just got to use their brain like did jesus teach out the gospels of luke did jesus teach about paul was the philippians israelites i mean like well, what does that got to what was what was Paul quoting out? What was what was Paul quoting out of throughout all his writings? If he quoting out the Torah, why don't you read the Torah? They didn't they didn't have the printing press back then, so they had people teaching them. So okay, there may be understanding why you need a teacher to teach you about the Torah. But you got the Torah now. You can read. You got a concordance and you got a dictionary and you can learn etymology. You you don't need to listen. To Paul talking to Romans, and you don't even you don't even know what Romans was even dealing with. He writing letters. You're reading. You're going in somebody else's mailbox reading their letters. It don't got nothing to do with you. You don't even know what he was talking about. You don't even know what it was dealing with. You don't know what food sacrifice to idols is. You don't even know what idol is because we don't use those type of words these days. But I mean, and 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 these cats out here preaching. Preaching Christ, like it's, it, I'm getting tired. I'm t- it's hard to give them a pass anymore, bro. Like, yeah, they bring people to Israel, but I think it's a trap because the they they started off as a school of Torah. Yeah, I did research. They started off as a school of Torah, and then they got infiltrated by Cointel Pro, and all of a sudden in the 1960s, you got every type of faction was created. You got every type of p- uh, black uh, Negro had a little place to run to if they wanted truth. And it was all created by Pro. They, you got, you got Black Panthers, if you wanna be a militant, carnal militant, if you wanna be, you wanna go to the 
to Islam, you want to start dealing with the Bible, well, okay, you're not going to learn the truth about Torah. You can run to the Hebrew Israelite camps who teach you Jesus, which is Roman Catholic, Jesuit, Rosicrucian doctrine. You can go all in these different directions. It's all Cointel Pro. It's all controlled opposition. Every direction you go to, these are all created. So it's hard to even give a lot of these cats the pass. They give a little truth just to suck you back in to the world, which is what the world believes. The world, there's lots of Christians out there. You can find white Christians out there that keep the Sabbath, that believe Jesus taught the Sabbath. You can find a lot of white Christians out there that say, uh, you can find, you can go online, research Christian beliefs, should we really eat pork? And they'll tell you, now nah, we know we shouldn't eat pork. A lot of them know they shouldn't eat, but they all gonna, they not gonna believe in Torah, they're gonna believe in Christ. It's all, it, they, it's all the same. It is these these camps. I mean, I mean, not even these camps. Just at just anything that's not Torah is 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 not true. If it's not Torah, it's not true because Torah is truth. Period. So it's it's to get to the point. You, you gotta let you. We gotta tell the people the truth. It's you can't. There's no work around. If people don't want to accept the truth, if they want to keep telling like partial lies. Like you're telling a lie, you're lying, you're lying to the people. You teach you Christ, you're lying. You're lying because it's Christ is it's Greek. That's a Greek word. Period. If you want to say Mashiach, say Mashiach, but you're scared to say it because you know what Mashiach means, and it don't mean Christ. It don't mean the same thing. It don't mean one person. It's a it's an adjective meaning anointed. It, you know, go ahead. And that's amazing. You say uh, something clicked in my head when you said Greeks, those are our enemies that enslaved us, right? Still to this day, the Romans and Greeks. It's like, well, what do they look like? Like, it look like everybody now to me. Because you got them fraternities, the boule, the black, you know, the basketball players on the team, whoever, whoever they approach, they sign on with the Greeks. Pi, Salpha, I, Pi, Pama, Gamma, whatever they call themselves. <laughs> It's all Greeks, man. They enlisted to, to uh, keep us enslaved for, like Kanye West say, um, toys in the Happy Meal. So and then you got um, Kim Jong-un. I know y'all saw that Masonic handshake. My eyes got big when, when they went through that handshake. I said, okay, let me see this handshake look like. I'm like, oh, Masons. See, already, they, already, they prepared. They already got the people prepped, ready to kill off the two-thirds, man. They're going to be in their bunkers. All right? We're going to be snatching them out. <laughs> God, it's uh, man, we're we in, we in a bad state. For, for Yahweh to make our people the rules of the world, man, no, man, because if you go now, we're in horrible shape, man. Dudes is willing to sell out. Man, dudes will sell their mama out for, for, for a dollar, man. It's, it's, dudes have no standards, man, like no... Man, this is it's, we're, in, we're in a sad state, man. In a sad state. So, I don't know, you guys. It's like real, real, real late here. You know, I woke up early. I knew brothers wanted to come on. I stayed up late and watched this movie called uh, Concussion with Will Smith. And I knew I should have been going to bed so I could wake up earlier. Uh, but I'm like starving up in this joint. Um, you know, I'm about to my, I'm gonna upload this to my my uh, channel. My new channel is uh. Judah Nazareth, Temple of Yahweh Nazarene. That's like my main channel now. Uh, these dudes be flagging my channels. Like, I'm gonna say it again. Why? Why did anyone look back and, and say what's up with all this flagging stuff going on? Like, we've never had to encounter this at all. That's straight agent movement right there. Like flagging. Like even when there's no hate speech, and then the way YouTube is set up is you don't even have to say any anything hateful, and they just flag it down. So, you know, a lot of people have, a lot of people have experienced this, this thing, but that, that's, that's, that's the little organ, that's the little weirdo organization that's going on. They can't, they can't battle back with, with, with the tour. Yahweh's not with them. So they want to deprive you, I'm sorry, they want to deprive Israel of the tour. So they're trying to like silence us. And since they can't do it any other way, that's the way they do it. So. 
they're just gonna keep flagging them. He's gonna keep making more videos. And, and when we get tired of the folly, we're gonna start going into phase three. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, like this is you know, it's almost as if I'm sorry, cut you off. It's almost as if um okay, like okay, go ahead and unleash it. Go ahead and just show our show our horns and go ahead, go go ahead and move in. We've been watching long enough. Go ahead and move in full force. Like they got they got orders. That's that's bro. That's that's agent. That's agents for you, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, you know, we in that time of Babylon's fall, and 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 you know, I I don't you know I'm not a braggart, but I do know this much: Torah Nice is the only Israelite group that where you can learn Torah and the science that comes out, the mathematics and geometry and brotherhood and the public can can uh, come in and talk and and people can you know whatever. Go to a quote unquote group and you're gonna be like man these dudes sound like christians without christ like that's just what it is you know half these dudes i'll be i'll be trying to I'll be listening to dudes dudes be talking about the supreme intelligence of the universe and uh, you know stuff. i'll be like man wait that sounds like the grand architect of the universe the freemasonic god dudes be talking about they're initiated and i'll be like and then trey tell always be like do you notice have you heard these dudes ever teach I like sit back and be like, Trey tells right. I've never actually seen these dudes actually teach anything. They start talking about gematria and and all this other kind of stuff, which which is true. Your gematria, the, the numbers do, the, the letters do have a numerical value, but like that's not very deep. Like that's about as deep as you get is gematria, bro. Like really, like you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you're in the Kabbalah, bro. Stop it, bro. You have like, uh, uh, you know who is teaching you. Bro, cut it out. That's why you don't see like Old Testament Israelites. You don't see them reaching out to Torah nights. Like we're a Torah base. We're Torah based. There's no such thing as an Old Testament. No such thing. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, but you don't see them. You don't see uh, uh, them reaching out to us, being like, "Oh, you know, y'all brothers is, is brothers with us in the Torah." No, dudes, be talking Yiddish. You know. I'm not down anybody for smoking sick smoking cigarettes. I used to smoke cigarettes too for like for almost 20 years. Yahweh was like, stop it. Stop it. The, the cigarettes you smoking of pork blood in the filter. I was hard headed. Yahweh had to jack me up twice. I thought I was gonna die because I because I you know I, I stopped and then I was like, oh, you know, I I start smoking again. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh was like, nah, bruh, you're not about to like teach my uh Torah. And be smoking pig blood. How people do, you know. Everyone, everyone has their vices. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm not condemning anyone, but I do know that the Old Testament Israelites, like, after they get out of their synagogue, they literally go out and like smoke cigarettes, like normally. I know this for a fact. So, you know, what I'm saying, like, you know, I'm, I'm just saying that's that's a general practice of them. Same thing with the Muslims. The Muslims be like, Allah Akbar, and they'd be the first ones lighting up a pork stick. Tell me I'm lying. I'm talking, I'm not saying like the nation of Islam, I mean like the Arabs. They are the main smokers of pork stick. And be like, we don't eat pork. But you're smoking pork stick, bruh. Like, I used to smoke, so I'm not condemning anybody. I'm just saying like, you know what I mean? Like, if, if you're smoking pork stick, bruh, like, you know, like, just stop, bruh, like. You know, like you might as well eat a ham sandwich. As a former smoker, smoker, I'm telling you. You know, what I'm saying I'm condemning myself. I used to smoke cigarettes. So, as a, as a, as a ex smoker, who yeah, how I had to jack up. You know, what I'm saying like I'm not condemning you. I'm just saying like I know it's hard. I used to enjoy. It. Man, wake up in the morning having that cigarette and that coffee, bro. Like there's no greater delight. But yeah, how I ain't dealing with that. I still I still drink coffee, you know. There's, there's nothing wrong with coffee. But but you know, even like honey's good for you, but too much honey's even bad for you. And honey's a healer. So you got to have everything in moderation, you know what I'm saying? 
And I'm not condemning anybody. If, if you are a natural tobacco leaf smoker, then, uh, you know, whatever. I'm saying like the pork stick. You know what I'm talking about. I don't have no judgment. I don't have no say. It doesn't say anything about like uh, uh, smoking natural tobacco or whatever. I don't smoke cigarettes. But if you're a natural tobacco smoker, I don't have anything to say against it. You know, whatever. That's just me because I'm not going to condemn you for something that's not written in the Torah. It, it doesn't say don't smoke tobacco. So it, essentially, it's not a sin. But when you buy the Marlboros, bro, you smoking pork, bro. Cut it out, bro. Drinking beer and wine, all well and good. If you peeing on yourself, dr dr uh, passed out and beating up your wife, maybe you need to stop smoking or drinking uh, alcohol. Nothing wrong with smoking weed. But if you're all baked out and you can't even think straight and you just like, you just a, a pothead do nothing or you can't even get a job, you can't even study, you can't do nothing, maybe you need to like stop smoking weed, bro. Like, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying that is, you know, like, you know, like, you know, you know, all things in moderation, you know, it's a balance and everything. But, um, yeah, I'm about to upload this to my channel with uh, Trey Taylor's permission. You know what I'm saying? It's a great build. I'm glad Brothers came on. Uh, certain tour nights wasn't on. And I'm not mad at Brothers, but I, I can say I'm a little disappointed that, well, these new brothers like Mervin and, and King Kosher and them, they're like, they're like new. So no, no one's expecting them brothers to get into the trenches. But we got dudes that was like straight up like, been there for like months. They should have been doing more. And no, we're not mad at you or whatever. But I, but Judah Nazareth, myself, speaking for myself, I'm a little disappointed, right? Like Negi, I'm calling you out, bro. Whenever you do wrong, I call you out, just like Josh does, just like Wise, just like other brothers, and even X Knights. I'm a little, a little disappointed in you, bro. Like your channel got flagged, and you said, "Well, that's it for me." And it's kind of like, bro, like wait a minute, like toward Knights. We don't. We catch a lot of flat, bro, for for keeping you with us, bro. You could at least, and you know, Killer B is it always the main one who has your back too, because he always be like, man, the Edomite does more than a lot of the Israelites do in Torah nights. And Killer B is not even like he don't even have his gun aimed at you, bro. I'm I'm talking. I'm saying, bro, like that that oh my my time. Me, I didn't appreciate that, bro. I didn't appreciate you saying to Pizzle and to the, the, the guy who got nuked out, come to my channel. I have more sense. Negi, you don't, you know, bro, I didn't appreciate that either, bro. Like, and I get it, bro. You have a condition, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I, I give you a pass on a lot of things. But, bro, you know, we we we, we catch a lot of flack for, for, for harboring you, bro. We do. We do. And I'm not talking for the rest of the group. I'm saying for me. I, like, I don't appreciate, I didn't appreciate that, bro. You could have did a little bit more, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and, you know I, well, I'm not saying anything, you know, whatever, but you could, do, I'm just disappointed in you, bro. You know, you could have did a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you, you, you're giving, you're giving, you're going to give tour nights and you're going to give ex tour nights more ammo to be like, so why is dude here? You do a lot of great research and stuff. But I didn't appreciate that. Like, that, that you, I, to me, that was like, y'all on your own. That, that's what it sounded like to me. I might be wrong. I might have, I might have, I might have misinterpreted that the wrong way. But that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I'm not being in my emotion. That's just how I took it because Tritel was like, yo, man, yo, what's up, man? Me, you, and Killer are like the main dudes with the guns out. That we, we didn't expect Mervin and Kosher and other, and Mike G and our brothers, new brothers, uh, Thom and all them. But there are certain people, certain people who have been here for months that could have did a little bit more. Josh is not Josh, he fights his, his he, he does it too in his own way. So we ain't talking about him. But me personally, I'm just I'm just keeping it real. SOJ, I'm a little bit, you know, like y'all could have done a little bit more, bro. You know what I'm saying? And Negi, I didn't appreciate that, bro. So, you know, um, that's that's my last uh, uh, sayings, man. I'm really really hungry, bro. I haven't eaten anything all day. It's already like about to be uh, five in the afternoon here. I'm upload this to my main channel. Um, you know, if if, if y'all gonna keep this, if y'all have last words, I'm gonna stay. But if y'all gonna keep going, I'm gonna drop out, but whatever, because I'm I'm about to pass out. I'm hungry as all get out. But uh, yeah. Now I'm good. Yeah, how about It's a great bill, great Shabbat, and um. Yeah, I will bless 
and protect the true Torah keepers, the ones that walk in this, and uh, risk and risk their livelihood, and uh, fight the oppressor and the wicked, the masons. We see you, Yahweh Kai. Hey, Yahweh Kai, that's all, man. Not so long, Yahweh Kai. It's three thirty. Shabbat Shalom, Yahweh Akkad, keep the Torah and live, man. Uh, uh, Yahweh Akkad, I like to uh, say the water to all the people on the panel and stuff that, that came on tonight. Say the uh, water to all the, the listeners. And yeah, we the Torah Nights got a lot more coming for you in the future. Um, uh, you can also check out uh, Yo Jesus channel, and we got Judah got his new channel. What's the name of the channel again, Judah? I got two: uh, Anti Sponge Cake and Judah Nazareth Temple of Yahweh Nazarene. <laughs> All right. All right. There's uh, another channel out there too: uh, Mason Talk for You, um, and we got. Uh, we got another new channel that, that's going to be coming out uh, soon. You can subscribe to. Uh, the content will be uploaded on there soon. It's called uh, Tour Nice Warhammer. And yeah, uh, subscribe to me, Killer B. Uh, I'm going to have some more stuff coming soon. Uh, hopefully, we don't have to drop phase three, but you know, I'm, I'm, all, I'm ready. I'm ready. So uh, whenever I get the orders to drop, Phase three, you get dropped. Um, yeah, just fire and brimstone on them. So just bring that fire and brimstone. It's like, you know, you mess with the knights and stuff, you're going to have to deal with me. Other brothers like Tretel and Judah, it's not going to be a good look. So I don't even know why you do it. So, um, yeah, uh, to all the X knights and stuff, y'all looking crazy right now. Um, or go back to Jesus and what else I gotta say here? Um, I, I think I'm gonna end it with that. Yahweh and Ka. You all praise to Yahweh and stuff. Or, uh, continue, to, continue to let us like come out on top, out on top of these evil doers. Um, whoever's next and stuff, I, I got something for you. So, uh, Shalom to everybody and stuff. And who, who's, who's left? Trey got to take us out. That's it. Yeah, how it got? What's those other channels, Trey?